G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Stationeers. Uh, since last time, I have done a fair bit of mining, and should be able to do a fair bit of building today as a result. I also read the comments on the last video, and apparently, even though I couldn't find it at the time, I did blow a heavy cable. Right here. The one from my solar panels. <laughs> so let's fix that. And let's just check to see whether it blew anywhere else. I think it'll only blow one location. But yeah, I suspect that happened when I discharged the small battery into the large battery. So apparently it doesn't need power draw. All it needs is for a bit of cable to be connected to where the high load of charge is going. So yeah, that is what happened. My sound's really low. Let's fix that. Hey, thanks, Perseus Gray. <laughs> it does indeed. Um, right. So let me show you the mined stuff. So we got heaps more iron again, decent amount of copper, gold, silver, cobalt, nickel, coal, silicon. I kind of went a bit nuts. <laughs> having, having the uh, mining goggles certainly helped in terms of getting the stuff I wanted. What I'd like to do today is try and remember what I was doing at the end of last time. I think I wanted to make this building like fully complete. So pressurize it and all that sort of stuff. So let's find where I put the data disk so I can turn off the airlock and set some manual controls up to evacuate the space alrighty uh, it's all poison in here I will need to Jetpack on. evacuate that pipe. Yes. Yes. So let's turn that on. Let's just make sure that that is in fact getting evacuated. It is empty. Cool. So that pipe stays empty. I can then close that door, turn set to, yeah, that's set to inward, and start reducing the pressure in this space. So I need to get this whole volume down to vacuum. Which is going to take a while, I think. That's easy, you were blowing up stuff last time. No, I was... I think the last few times I've been trying to blow stuff up, but I haven't been able to. I do have an idea for something fun to do at the end of today's stream. The thought I had, as I watch my tablet clip through the glass, the thought I had was make a bit of a bucket with a chute to, and, a, um, and a stacker, so I keep just dropping single things of ore into it, fill that chute up with the ore, and then pressurize and blow a room underneath and see how much of it will shower upward. See if we can make a sort of um, stationers or firework. Because I think that could be kind of fun. And it was quite fun when Capac and I made the ore cannons in our co-op game. Something else. Ah, there we go. Lights. <laughs> Idea paint the base teal. I don't think there's teal paint. Uh, Splitsy, do you have any intentions of playing the We Were Here and We Were Here Forever? Yes. Uh, Capac and I would love to play the rest of the We Were Here games because we had so much fun playing We Were Here 2. But 
No idea on when for that sort of thing. Now, I can't think of a way for me to evacuate this space with me on the other side of the door. Does the the back pressure regulator probably I assume stops air going that way? Is it a one-way valve? Right. Since it's a one-way valve, I think I need to have an active vent attached to it to suck air in that isn't set up to the airlock. Because otherwise... I suppose I can always... I mean, otherwise it requires me to shut down the airlock to reprime that pipe if it ever becomes empty. Because there's no way for the active vent to suck in from the volume in this room once it gets pressurized. <clears throat> Dang. Yeah, I think, I think maybe if I put an active vent on this wall and pipe it up, then at least I've got some way of prim adding priming to that pipe. Hey, thanks so much, Sergeant Sice. Uh, glad to hear you're getting better after your back surgery. Yeesh. Uh, we're down to... How low are we at in the corner of the room? Yeah, this is going to take a while. I don't really want to be in here while this is happening. I kind of want it to just work. Uh... Maybe I should just set up a custom loop for evacuating this. Just a temporary one. So it might be quicker. <laughs> Something I can set and forget. Uh, can that help if I turn that on or not? Do I have any iron and gold in here? some gold. That looks to all be steel. Nuts. You've got a little bit of iron. Right, I'm going to ditch the stuff out of this one. Apparently, I had a lot of steel in there. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Turn you off. Close you up. Oh, no. Was that the iron I picked? No, it wasn't. Iron. Okay, let's make the active vent. Oh, we're going to need some pipe too. Uh, where is it? Uh, 
Alrighty. Turn those off. Oh, nuts. Um, I wonder if I'm even going to be able to place this. Jetpack on. Where do my cables run? <laughs> I was hoping that'd be able to be placed there, but it's very unlikely to that I've got a clear spot on that wall. However, hmm. If I get more pipe. I could place it up here. Maybe. I know the jetpack adds gas to the room. You don't need to remind me. I know. Kind of need the jetpack to get up there, though. Um, so, so, so you, the food side of things is pretty... Um, it's pretty quick to do once you've learned how to do it. Um... And that all you need to do is make a small greenhouse. You don't need anything particularly large. Uh, which makes it a lot more achievable to get the food growing done before you starve. It's possible you might have played during a balancing phase where things were a bit more difficult. You also do start with a decent amount of food on your um, pod. Enough to keep you alive for at least a while. Jetpack on. Yeah, I seem to remember food being quite difficult at one stage. But then I don't know how much of that was me and how much of that was food actually being difficult at the time. Okay, which side of these is the uh, in? Uh, let's close the door. Open up that one. Light on. Okay, so it's that side. I need to branch off. Okay, and I can branch off. I don't really want to branch off the lights. So, let's see. Can I do this from outside? Jetpack on. I could branch this off the light circuitry, but I, I would prefer not to. Close you. Open you. Jet now, if I turn this one, set inward, turn it on, I can then close that door, turn that one off, and Set outward, turn on. In theory, if I've done that right, should have the pressure going up in here. Slowly. Which it is because the X is going up. Hooray! Thanks, Kaiba. Um, hey, Moosey. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> want to lad, uh, what does my other half say about all the gaming? Um, 
She knows it's my job and she's really supportive of it. I am very lucky. Alright, cool. So that's going to slowly depressurize that volume. And then I need to pipe into there with all my other gases. <laughs> oh, zero. thought we were talking about Capac. I will admit I do enjoy those jokes because I know how much they upset Capac. I've been trying to think of a way to connect the production room to the greenhouse and as in a pressurized connection that isn't enormous and I kind of haven't been able to come up with one. Because you don't have... Because the stairs aren't airtight. I'd have to make a wall underneath and then two blocks high and... It'll all be quite boxy. I mean, I, I, I could connect them in a sense. I could have a passive vent on each side and just connect the volumes, but I meant in terms of not needing to go through an airlock. So taking your shed is your office... Yes, my, my shed is kind of like a freestanding studio separate to the house. Um, which is handy. Handy for noise separation. Uh, I was just coming in here to get some food because... I Looked like the tomatoes were pretty much ready. Well, I'm trying to think about what I actually am going to do. Oh, they're ready for seeds. Oh well, that'll do. May as well collect huge, huge numbers of seeds. I've totally lost track of what I was doing. Well, let's make a belt. Let's make a better mining belt. What's needed for that? A better mining and tool belt. Mining. Item mining belt mark two. What is needed for this? Huh. How do I see what's needed for that other than going to the tool thing? Weird. Weird. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Ninja, I play survival games because I I like um, I like building stuff and doing it in a game like this is a lot more fun than doing it in the real world where you have to deal with, you know, cold. <laughs> I don't like cold. Normally, so, normally going to be the stuff in the Stationpedia, like, you've got the kit, and that'll tell you what is required for it. But because, I guess, tools don't have a kit version, there's no entry in it for what's required to make them, which is a bit unfortunate. They really should populate this with what's required to build it. Uh, 
All right, I will take this iron in there. Let's go see what we need for a tier two mining belt. And I also want to make a bunch of shoots so that we can move the ingot output all the way up to inside. So I think that's a good starting job. I'll need this for in there. What do we need for the tech two mining belt? That is not the tool manufacturing. Wrong machine. Huh. What's the difference between the Mark II arc welder and the arc welder? So just how much, how hot they can be. All right, mining belt mark two. Ten steel and five constant tan. And tool, is there a tool belt mark two? Item mark two tool belt. Constant tan and iron. Okay, we got some constant tan up here. Inva, electrum, in canal. Where have I got my constant tan? I've got some somewhere. Here we go. Oh, that's going to be a lot of stuff to ditch out. <laughs> this is going to be a lot. <laughs> Slower, but works in very high temp. Okay, so I don't want it. Uh, I have not built a battery charger anywhere in here. I need to do that as well. Thank you for the reminder. I should make a habit of putting more of my stuff back like this and only putting in what's needed. Okay, constant tan. There we go. Mark 2 tool belt. And... Mining belt, need to pop some steel in. Oh, multiplayer soon, hey? Well, fingers crossed that is the case. I will admit, I'm kind of having fun <laughs> doing this on my own anyway. Uh, right, let's put the Mining Belt Mark II on. And... Move the tools across. Tool Belt... Oops, uh, let's move all these across. Yeah, that's a bit better. Huh. Didn't realize I had an extra thing in here. Don't need to carry the extra tool belt. But what else I should do is see what it takes for me to get the better suit. Hard suit backpack. Hard suit suit. Because my suit is getting very low on the old durability.
Uh, Naomi, I'm not sure that the... Oh, like, being brutally honest, I'm not sure that the DLC for this is something new players should get. Um, I don't know that it adds a huge amount to the game. It's more as a supporter pack sort of thing, I think. Moosey, I tried Dual Universe and thought it was horrible. Um, there is a stream of me doing its incredibly painful tutorial. Uh, yeah, bad. <laughs> All right, hard suit suit. What's required? Stellite and Astraloy. Stellite and Astraloy. Where's Astraloy? Canal Spectrum. Astraloy. And I want the hard suit jetpack, not backpack. Thank you for stopping me from making that mistake. <laughs> uh, this is on the beta branch, Zero Shadow. Oh, those birds. Those birds. No, Razul, I, I suspect that uh, Kanajashi's not going to be doing another speedrun attempt. But probably because there are other fun things to do instead. Not necessarily because he doesn't want to, but just because there are other fun, more fun things to do. Okay. Hard suit, jetpack. Oh, that needs wasp alloy. Okay, I don't have... I haven't made wasp alloy yet. Let's get some more steel and I'll make the helmet. I think all of these are 100 grams of steel. Oh no, that's not a small one. Oh, oh! I need to make the tanks, the the bottles for my suit. Oh, that's a that's a bit annoying, Caveman. But at least um, that wasp alloy is only needed for this at the moment. Because <laughs> I I have a feeling it's going to be a bit of a pain to make. Uh, Wasp Boy. Yeah, so it's just the hard suit jetpack I need other than this. Unless I wanted to change my clothes, which I don't really care to. Okay. What do I need to do to make Wasp Boy? Silver, nickel, and lead. 50 mega pascals. 400 to 800 Kelvin. That's... Ah. That's quite cool and very high pressure. Ah. Pressure critical. Temperature critical. Here we go. We got the better helmet now. Um, bottles, Atmos. Oh, I need battery too. Uh, oh, what do we need for the better... For the big filters? Heavy filter CO2. What's needed for that? Invar and Stellite. Have I got a decent amount of Invar? I don't think I've made much Invar. What was needed for the 
medium level ones. So medium ones still last for a long, a long time. Uh, silver and Constantin. Maybe I do go the heavies. Just for my suit. Thank you for the reminder to lock my helmet. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, I can colour my suit and my helmet, can't I? Forgot about that. Hmm. Got Stellite out of here, and it's got all the other junk. Oh, I'm so, it's just so annoying having to get everything out of each machine. I'm kind of tempted to get this shoot set up and then just go through and make a bunch of the more advanced alloys, just make a few stacks of each. So I think it'll be handy. And it takes so long. That I usually get sidetracked before I do it. Gee, the birds are really loud this morning. Yep. Tweet, tweet, tweet. No! It's raining as well and they're right outside my shed. Which does not have much acoustic shielding. Inva. Stellite. I can't remember what Inva looks like. Looks like that. So I need four of these. And then I need two bottles. And I need to make a bottle filling thing for oxygen. Yeah, Gargoyle, RTX voice could filter out the bird noise, but RTX voice causes a whole bunch of other problems. Um, especially since my streaming PC doesn't have an RTX card. Um, the Trying to use RTX voice on a GTX 1080 that's also trying to encode uh, transcode well, down sample 4K to 1080p it overloads it uh, so I can't use it at the moment it also it also causes caused some other issues for Capac and I when we've had it we had to use it when we had the office because there was a gym next door that was really loud and we also wanted to cut out each other's voices with the cross chatter between the mic, between the mics. But in general, it's not as useful as it seems on the surface, which is annoying because it is very useful on the surface. The sound in the background is, I'm pretty sure, uh, the... They're Rosellas. And some native birds called noisy miners. Which very much live up to their name. Bottle. This the smart bottle. Need one of them anyway. <sighs> Liquid canister. 
gas canister smart. Let's get two of those. Uh, I think it's M Y N A H, maybe for the miners, the bird. I should really color code those at some point. Uh, cool. Now I just want to make some more insulated pipe. Yep. Yeah, that one. Spectrum. See you, Zeb Sturvet. But yeah, I've, I've tried. There was a... There's a weed of a tree bush thing that was right near my shed, which I've gotten rid of, but it uh, has not deterred the birds. They appear to be liking something else that's nearby. I, I like some of the birds, <laughs> but I just don't like the noise. Hey, thanks, JB. Oh, uh, yeah, Incognito, I quite... I, th I can have, I have had, what, this is week seven of me playing this for like five, six hours at a time. So I've, I've had plenty of fun playing this solo. I'd say most of my time in Station Ears has been solo. Uh, it's been a limited amount with Capac. Because it is a, it's got a real survival challenge to it, so it's not, um, it's not your standard sort of. You get out, you, the survival challenge is gone rapidly. Uh, so we're down to thirty-four pascals. Oh, almost vacuum, almost. Uh, let's go set up these things. I think... Yeah, my spray paint's outside. Light on. Not over here, though. Over here. Light on. So, waste tank. Where's my brown spray paint? And then white. Or zero two. Alright, where's my oxygen supply? I would like to connect it up near where I've got my jetpack one. Oh, I should have made another pressure regulator. Dang it. Because it'd be nice to have them all near each other. But that's going to be tricky with how I've got all the pipes around here. I don't have a lot of room. Uh, I don't really want to have to bring it all the way back around. Maybe I'll have to... Maybe I will have to have them separate. At least for the time being. I could put them... Oh, actually... I could put them on a wall, like, here, if I put a couple of walls up. Yeah, that can be a more permanent solution. It's... Let's not do temporary solutions. Let's do permanent solutions. Let's see, come on. Added wall... 
I kind of want to use a frame. I think I'm going to need to go back inside. Okay. Pressure regulator. Steel frames. I know the battery charge is still on the list. Just want to get this thing done. Uh, you don't need to be on. Right. So pressure regulator is over here. Let's get some more insulated pipe. Get some more cable. Yeah. Just needs more copper. I need to smelt more copper because I don't have any up on the shelves here now. Do I know? And let's make some frames. I hate it when I don't grab the actual slidey thing. Scroll bar. Where are we at, atmosphere-wise? 33 pascals. Getting there. Uh, might get like eight steel frames and then get a few steel things. Oh, hello, iron ingot. Because, yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice for me to do a few more things deliberately. I've done a lot of stuff a bit haphazardly, and I. I kind of don't like that I've done that. <laughs> I'd like to do. I'd like to do more things in a in a way that seems like it's got purpose. Because then even if I have messed it up, it'll feel a bit nicer. Yep, Barnaby. I will uh, make sure I'm careful with the airlock when I deal with it. Am I planning to build a new temporary base? No, I am not planning on building a new temporary base. I would like to think that this base is a permanent base now. Right, I've got all the things, I think. Now, where do I want to put this? I'm trying to decide where the blocks will actually look decent and where they're just going to look horrible. Because I kind of want to do it as a steel frame rather than a wall. So maybe I should just do a wall. I don't know. I kind of wanted to do a frame.
Is this bit of dirt? And those are iron, which will be gotten rid of at some point soon. So maybe if I put these three down like this, that'll give me a wall of space to put refilling things and other stuff around here that I want to put down. Tank fill. Wait, which way around does it go? Comes in from the... Yeah, bottom. Oh, yeah, this could be the spot to put a battery holder too. That's not a bad idea. a bad idea at all. to go that way if I do it this way. Okay. Done this wrong. Done this wrong. Oh. Was the wrench. Why did I shot before? So I want to leave myself enough room Don't that I can low. then put the pressure regulator this way. So, because I can put a pressure regulator, tank fill, little gap, pressure regulator, tank fill, and I'll, they'll look relatively neat. Oh yeah, I can put my water up here as well, my water refills. Yeah. Uh, where's the white spray? Should have done that first. Water refill can be in the greenhouse, but it doesn't need to be. Um, I think having multiple points for the water refill isn't a bad option. Does that connect unbroken to my tank? It does. Huh. Okay, maybe that should be the nitrogen one and then I should do the oxygen one next because that kind of works with the positioning of them. Filter low. Yeah, it should be that. Uh, Nuki World, I cycled through it because what I was trying to do when I was messing with the pressure regulator was... Um, See if it had the flipped version that went the other direction, but it did not. 
Because some things do that. Which is quite handy. Like so. Let's go grab some of the black pipe. Utilities room, food, power, water, waste. I don't... I don't see a big problem in having, like, multiple access points for the basic survival needs. So, to my mind, having, like, multiple tank filling spots makes sense. But also, having one right where I've got all of the gases <laughs> makes a lot of sense, too. I may well move my nitrogen storage tank over this way. And I'm probably going to increase the size of my CO2 storage. Although I think it's still relatively low pressure. Oh, it's getting up there. 10 megapascals. We'll see how how much pressure there is in that once I fill up my greenhouse and my everything else. in this pipe. Eh, all right. Jetpack critical. No, I don't think that helped. have the wrench in hand, you can place the black type pipe on top of the white. Ah! Oh. Cool, I didn't know that. Let's do that. I uh, just want to see it working. Because then it might then it might stick in my head. Uh, so if we grab the white pipe and get my wrench and go blam. Huh! Cool! Nice. That, that's quite handy. Thank you. Hey, Nab. How's it going? Wire functions the same. Cool. That That is really good to know. Watching the baby react to bananas. That, yep, I can imagine what that looks like. Having seen my nieces and nephews experience such things early on. Uh, let's just bring this one straight across. Hydration critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I just did this one straight across. <laughs> I should have done it. Ah, what are we doing? Like that. That's how I should have done that. Come on, brain. Get with the program. Cool. We now have ways of filling oxygen. Now, pressure regulator. 
I would like this to go up to four megapascals. And because I like round numbers, and I don't have my labeler handily, labeler handily, labor, labeler, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I, seriously, my brain. What is wrong with me? <laughs> my labeler handy. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I think I did just have a small stroke. That was bad. Oof. Okay. That looks like we've reached the pressure desired. Which means I can now swap suits. No. <laughs> no, let's put a battery in it before I swap suits. Uh, let's drink some water before I do that as well. Just so my screen can stop being angry at me. Alright, fine. I'll swap in the greenhouse. I don't think the greenhouse has enough oxygen anyway. But sure. Nuclear battery. In we go. I don't even know what the makeup is in here. Oh! I mean, by station is standards, this should be breathable. Barely. Alright, suit swap time. And no issues at all. Uh, cool. Wait, how high... How high pressure can the smart canisters go? Does it say? Not here. Hmm. Oh, can smart canisters go all the way up to 20? 2265. Huh. Okay, so I could put this much higher pressure, my oxygen tank. Maybe I will. Stop me having to replace it as often. Info was top left. Oh, Mac, the I, yeah, because it didn't have a units. I just saw those as numbers and ignored them. Silly brain. All oh, right, I should should have grabbed the charger while I was in there. Uh, let's just offload these mining belts and then I'll go back in. Uh, 
gonna get everything out of it first. Okay. Suit swapped. Don't need to carry those pipes either. Yeah, it really should have units on that. I don't know why it doesn't. It should just have a little PA. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Battery charger. Don't care about the small battery cells. Kind of don't care about the large ones at this point because I got the nuclear for lots of things, but I'll take them. And let's take this off the wall. Get the wires back later. I don't need them for now. So I'm thinking this belongs on the wall outside the airlock to the production room. Uh, and then I should try and refit the airlock to have a... Um, charger inside but I don't know if I've messed up the cabling and made that near impossible to do fear I have so at least having this on the outside should help from a safety point of view What? Okay, I'm confused. What did I do here? So that goes up... Oh, that goes inside. That's going up over the top. So what I need to do is branch off from here. Go across these pipes. Around and then back down so that we're coming off the fuse for the production room rather than going off the main branch. Uh, yep. Just checking that that was the correct side for the power. There we go! Got a more accessible battery charger, finally. I might move my nuclear battery that's in the airlock down here up as well. Uh, Marcus, it's how long's a piece of string, that question. Capac won't come back to this until the multiplayer patch, uh, until this beta patch is updated to the point where it can handle multiplayer. There we go. Charging. Uh, cool. So we've moved that. I think it'll probably be zero. It'll probably be, be vacuum inside there. Can I kind of cheese it and get this through the wall? Is that a thing that happens anymore? Jetpack on. Wait, what? It says room 5 rather than world. Weird. Alright, let's go inside and have a look. Uh, turn you... That's inward. Okay, room is empty. And room is empty. OK. 
Okay. Let's make some shoots, because that was the other thing I wanted to do. Now we can pressurize this space. I'm going to need more iron than that, I think. It's going to be a lot of shoots to get all the way over here. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree with chat that Capac probably wouldn't survive this on his own and would probably get very frustrated. Much as he finds my approach to survival games irritating at times, I think he'd probably acknowledge that it does help, at least sometimes, him get enough stuff that he can do the silly things he wants to. Hey, Dragnon. <laughs> Thanks for tier 3 for 29 months. You crazy, crazy man. Almost two and a half years. Jeez. Uh... I could probably turn off some of these vents that are drawing power right now. But I don't really know which ones. Um, that's drawing in and expelling there so those can both go off let's just check this pipe network is yep and this one can get switched off and that one just stays on because that's the safety one that'll Push everything outside. And I just put some nitrogen here, but that's fine. That's why my jetpack is filled with nitrogen. Plus, when Kapak screws up, he wants there to be a higher casualty count than just him. Uh... Yes, the weird stuff does happen when Kapak reaches the point where he's stopped caring at all. That is true, Nab. Jetpack on. I do love the dropping from the ceiling thing, so let's keep it up. Though I think that's inside a frame. Which is not great. Jetpack on. That might make it visible on the outside, maybe. Open up. See where those have turned out. Jetpack on. Yeah, can see them. Good. Uh, I reckon I want to do this way. Oop. This is going to be convoluted, and I'm going to need more iron. I think I don't think I've got enough shoots to do it, but I'm trying to be neat. Which means not having floating shoots everywhere. I mean, Kapak's interesting in his own way. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know where, how I want to do this. Yeah, I'm going to need some of this hanging over the top. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I think I know what to do. Oh wait, no, that's not good. Let's start from the top, and then work down. That, come down, and connect it. If I get enough of these, I kind of want to do these with uh, the see-through ones. So that we can see the ingots flying across. The floor and go through the, frame, uh, the frames in the floor. No, thank you. <laughs> so many more of these. Let's get some iron smelting. What am I... Ah! That wall! <laughs> the wall I just placed confused me so much. Ah! Forgot where I was for a second. Hey, Lou. here. See how this looks. Hey, my selfie. Um, nice little trip hazard. I mean, yes, if I put the vents across the floor, yes, it would be. Now, fortunately, these pipes, once you put these racks down, don't uh, once you put these bars down, they're perfectly covered. But you can see just enough through to follow where they go. I should probably turn that off. Does not need to be on. Do -do -do -do. Why not chuck loads of iron in the big furnace and smelt it all at once? Because uh, then I have to cook it all up and I don't need that much. I figured, um, like I figure if I can just have that working while I'm doing other stuff is fine. So how many shoots am I going to need? Oh, so many. Does that look alright? Maybe a bit lower would look better. <laughs> Weirdly. It's annoying that I didn't line up this post with this post. And here comes a storm. Ah. Uh. 
I've already got 50 done. Another 50 should be coming out and getting thrown away by the storm in a second. In fact, might have already been. Yep. There it is. Embedded in that. Uh, the post's not aligning, it just makes it tricky for having a neat shoot going across. Because then I could have put it a bit lower and made it look more deliberate. It's going to look a bit weird now. Ooh, unless... I think I know how I can do it. I think I know. Uh... Basically, if if you imagine it's going from, say, this square to that one over there, if I go along the edge between them, then the chute should be able to look fine being a bit lower. Get back here. Can you imagine the sound the metal makes going through the chutes? Yeah. I can't imagine that's particularly pleasant. Making sure it was vacuum before I opened the door. Still want to undo my good work. Yes, I I imagine these shoots are something quite special because the stuff to go through the 90 degree bends and also go against gravity make shoots in the pipe bender. Are they cheaper or is it just quicker? Same price, but it is quicker. But I haven't put the iron in the pipe bender. <laughs> I just put the iron in the other one. Uh, I don't want to have to get all the iron out. Uh. Poop. I do have a bit more iron. Alright, I can do some from here too. weird. Wait, what if I turn off my lights? Is anyone else noticing that as I move left to right, the amount of fog from the sand is changing? Weird. Light on. Uh, okay, this might be enough for now. That's already 50 plus whatever's in the stackers. Let's stop there. All right. Yeah, it's a 
the dust rendering being a bit weird. Oh, I can't use my jetpack. Which means I can't really do this right now. So I'll get blown away. So what I was thinking is these are lying along here so I could put the chutes across at this level. Which I think will look neater. around the back and connect uh oh shouldn't have done that don't jump splitzy don't jump Hey, thanks so much, Greg. Thanks for the 5,000 bits. No, I'm not going to fly and be free. <laughs> I don't want to be free. I want to be stuck to the ground. Oh, come on, Storm. Go away. I want to do my things. My things are up high. So, serious question, can you eventually automate the machinery to auto-mix and match the proper recipes so all you need is a supply of material stash somewhere? Yeah, but from my understanding of doing that, it's tricky. Because you need the vending machines and stuff and things that I've not messed with. Uh, the weather has been in the game now since just after Capac and I finished our last co-op series. So it's been a while. And the weather in this actually feels like it's got some meaning to it because, well, you can blow away in the storm. Um, unlike Space Engineers where it just targets you based on time. So we are connected uh, inside to here. Now let's connect up this last bit. Uh, I don't know, Karma's, Karma's Evil Twin. I don't know if they've done anything with the tutorial, to be honest. Uh, they're not going to mess with the tutorial until the current stuff's done. That's fair enough. I guess. Same reason I don't do... I haven't been doing tutorials for this for a long time. Because they keep changing the game. <laughs> so the rules keep changing. Which makes the tutorials uh, outdated very rapidly. Okay, K 
can I do the replacement thing with some windows? No, I have to break it out and then put one in. Get window. I think we've got enough pi enough of these left. Yeah, Let's have on. some windows throughout the length of it. Hopefully I can uh, watch <laughs> as the things go all the way across, all the way through the network. I think I really need to have any windows in there because I won't be able to see that for most of it anyway. So where shall I put some more windows? There we go. So we were gonna make some waspaloi. Silver, nickel, and lead. But that's gonna need high pressure, low temp. We've currently got six megapascals and three hundred and two Kelvin. If I Um, I kind of need a way to put something that's not going to... Oh, I think I know I can do this. I think I know. Uh, silver, nickel, lead. Uh, one part silver, one part nickel, two parts lead. Now, since apparently I don't need a lot of this... Let's make a half batch. Or is that a bad idea? If Waspaloy is only used for the hard suit jetpack, I only need enough for the hard suit jetpack. Now, annoyingly, I'm going to have to go inside to find out how much that is. Eight grams. Thankfully, the manual airlock doesn't take long. And I need more stellite. I would like more stellite anyway. An asteroid. Okay. Okay. Eight grams. So I... So I definitely can do a half batch. Uh, I'll still go. I can't check with F1 what's required because it doesn't say. Um, the backpacks and all the tool-based things don't actually say what's needed to make them. It's missing from the Stationpedia. Is Waspaloy a super alloy, though? 
because it doesn't actually contain any um, pre-alloyed materials. Oh, is it super... Oh, is it because it requires three inputs? That's what it is. It's not because it's an alloy of an alloy. Um, all right. So if I get back a quarter of what I put in, and I put in 100, I should get 25 grams, which is enough to make two of them. Three of them, if I need to. Okay, so that's fine. So, silver in. Get 25 grams of nickel. In. And 50 lead. So... Current pressure is 6 megapascals. If I start putting extra... Oh, how much how much fuel mix do I have? Probably too much. Oh. This may just require some patience. What I was thinking of doing was... Uh, like, ideally I'd have an option to put in a different gas. Something that's a non-combustible or non-combustible in high concentration versus the combustible part so like throw in some oxygen to keep building the pressure inside afterwards but i think i'm just gonna have to keep igniting the fuel that i put in and waiting till i get close and hoping i don't blow the whole chamber up Let's find out. Uh, we need to go in. Uh, not igniting yet because it's at four percent. Thirty-nine megapascals. Okay. If I start putting fuel in now, it shouldn't reach the ignition percentage to be able to ignite so I should be able to push this up trouble is my input fuel is quite cold also did that not get hot enough to melt smelt my materials down Okay, it is smelted. Oh, it's not going to reach the ten. It's not going to reach the pressure I need. Before it blows. Nuts. Uh, Alright, I might have to fiddle with this system so I can pump in um, the exhaust gases. If I dump out this waste gas and get rid of the hydrogen and oxygen from it and then hook it all up again, it should be okay. Uh, and then set up a system for pumping in the exhaust gases. But let's dump out. Oh, 
Uh, Barnaby, I don't have any ices hanging around. That's fine. I've 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 got a system in mind. It'll work. You guys know I like doing things my own way sometimes with these things. What I figure is I've got a really convenient access to a gas that won't ignite right next to the fuel line. So if I put branching in with a one-way valve on each so that I can have it either filled with fuel or filled with output gas and I can switch it around when I need to, it'll be fine. I just need to keep enough volume in this tank. I probably want to take the... I mean, for the purposes here, I possibly wanted to take off the radiators for the moment. Because I want to keep that relatively hot. No, oh, that one's still attached. That's why it's not highlighting to pick up. It'll be fine. Jeez. I went so panicky. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, right, so I need some one-way valves and some more insulated pipe. Got some insulated pipe. I could use... I could use manual valves for this. So it's not going to be used very often. I kind of need two of them though, and I've only got one. Oh no, I want I want volume pumps. I want volume pumps. That's what I want to do. I want to use volume pumps. So then I get control. Not a turbo volume pump. I don't need fancy, super quick one. No! I hate that I'm always out of iron. I know what I'm doing! Jeez. No faith. No faith from chat today. How rude. It's, Laws, it's not bad, but it is a bit odd that that's what you pictured. Is it bad that I pictured I need volume pumps and I pictured the LCD next to the helm in Wrong Way Up only with high heels? Hey, th <laughs> thanks so much for the five gift subs, Marcus. I'm sure that I know what I'm doing. I, would, I wouldn't be this confident if I... Like, I'm confident that I can avoid things blowing up if I'm a bit careful. But I, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm confident. I'm confident. I do not have misplaced faith in this plan. Uh, 
two of these. I don't know that I need to turn everything off anymore. Got quite a bit of power. Uh, right. So this is possibly just going to be a temporary thing. Ugh. There we go. Let's go grab some pipes. Hopefully I've got enough, because that's going to be even more annoying if I have to go back and get more. Connect both sides up. Do that for now. Okay. Uh, cutting the pipes does not compromise the gases inside, no. But I was careful to cut from the furnace back because I wanted to make sure that I didn't overpressure a bit or force a bunch of stuff in that I didn't expect. So in this pipe it'll be the fuel mix. In this pipe it'll be the output mix minus hydrogen and oxygen. And then in this pipe it should be empty. Which it is. Uh, I can probably turn these off now. Since I only think I need this pressure... Like, since I don't need this system a lot of the time, I'm just going to set up it temporarily to be used. Uh, I guess I could make it permanent and just have to always volume pump my fuel into this section of pipe. But I think that's just a bit of a pain. I'd kind of rather not have to do that. Although maybe not too much of a pain, really. Okay, hooked up. Uh, before I do this attempt, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I will be back in just a minute.
Okie dokie. So the process I'm going to go through here is put fuel into the furnace. Ignite the fuel. If the if I put enough fuel in, I should get close to the pressure required. I'm going to get close, close to the pressure required. I'm going to go around the back here. I'm going to volume pump my older exhaust gases. Which I've got a decent volume of and are not too low in temperature. Though it's going down rather rapidly. Do I still have a radiator on here somewhere? No. Alright. Then I'm going to volume pump those back in here. And then I can suck them into the furnace and hopefully push it up to the right, temp uh, right pressure. Gradually without having too much risk of another ignition. So first up, let's put some gases into here. That's probably enough. I mean, worst case, if I end up messing it up, I've got more gases to put into here and I can try it again. Okay, 27 megapascals, 2,000 Kelvin. How much do I still have in here? Okay, that's not ideal. Too much fuel into this input line. Oh, I just ignited. Dang it! Just blew the pipe. Jetpack on. It's actually kind of helpful, <laughs> in a way. Turn that off. Let's see if we can get there. Oof, we're only at 15 megapascals. I think I might need to do another ignition in here. I kind of need to work out... Uh, so what I did wrong was I put too much fuel mix into this preload chamber. And what I need to do is put just enough in to ignite in the furnace chamber and then do it that way because the furnace is coming down in temperature quite rapidly I don't think I'm going to be able to bring it up to the pressure required with what I've got outside because what's inside there we've got like 1.5 kilomoles and in here we've got not even a few hundred so, to bring this pressure up high, as high as I need it, I'd need a lot more gas there. So what I might do is output it all. And input it all. And clear that line.
good part about this is <laughs> I've now raised the temperature in the tank again. I'm kind of having fun with messing around with this <laughs> and kind of learning it as I go. Because I've got, I've got a theory of how it should work. I just need to practice and run through it a few times because then I'll eventually get an idea of how it does work and then subsequently figure out ways to make it work better. Like, if this was something I needed to use a lot of, I'd probably put the pressure, like, the volume pumps that are around the back. I'd actually bring them around the front here so that I have access to them and I can control everything in one spot. But because it's... This is a fairly rare use case, I'm not too worried about that. Now, have I emptied out this pipe yet? Yes. I wish I could remember how many moles of gas I needed to ignite in the furnace. Maybe I can do this slowly this time. Just take a little bit and put a little bit in. Make sure I keep that pipe empty. So... Turn it off. Let's move that into here. I only got up to like 27 megapascals last time, didn't I, with the ignition? So I can put a bit more fuel in than I put in when I ignited it. So I can put this just a little bit past into the green, because I did it right on the transition between the yellow and the green last time, which I think might be one megapascal at these temperatures. Just got to make sure that this pipe stays empty. It's lucky I built the hard suit, huh? <laughs> Given that pipe exploding in my face. No, get there. A bit more. still go more. Okay, this is getting... This is getting to scary levels. I think I'm done. I think I'm just gonna <laughs> stop there and we'll try to do it again.
make sure the pipe is empty of ignitables. Combustibles, I should say. I think that is effectively clear. Stand back and night yeah there we go okay pump in it's gonna drop the temp too quick to get me the pressure I need so the pressure I need is 50. otherwise so we're almost holding pressure as the temperature goes down currently wonder whether we'll hit a tipping point soon or not We're aiming for 50 megapascals at between 400 and 800 Kelvin. Hey, thanks, Merton. Thanks for two years. <laughs> and this is... This tank is kind of within that range, so in theory, if I've got enough gas to make this that pressure at that temperature, I should get there. Yeah, I have to redline the furnace, but I have to do it really carefully. Because it, it'll blow it just above 60 megapascals, and I need to get it to 50. While still being relatively hot. Oh, I think pressure's going back up now. gas in here. Still got 2,000 moles of CO2, so there's still enough gas there. It's just getting the gas to move in. Yeah, I don't want to do the cheaty put it in a frame thing, Caberman. Just feels cheaty. So I don't want to do it. quite get there. I don't think there's enough... I don't think the gas is coming in fast enough. Uh, up to 38. It's very slow to raise the pressure. I think it could be... Since it's a volume pump, I may actually need a turbo volume pump for bringing the exhaust gases in, because I... But then the, the furnace can't bring it any faster than that anyway. 
Is this pipe? Yeah, it's really low pressure. I think I don't have enough exhaust gas to do this. I think I might have to combust a few things and get the exhaust gas pressure higher so I can put more into this faster. Uh, the radiators are all already off, Takari. Yeah, Smuts, the reason I was just... That's what I was talking about. The frame around the furnace feels like a cheat to me, so I don't want to do it. Because uh, it's too cold now. No, wait. It's not... No, 126 degrees Celsius. I'm, I'm not actually even in the temperature range yet. Okay, uh, this might work. This might work. Yeah, two furnaces is a reasonable option glitch. Have one to cook up the gas and then keep adding that pre-cooked gas to another furnace to safely add the hot gas. Uh, the the glass was probably reflecting the Martian terrain and sunset. That's why it went red. But this this might work. Because I've still got like 400 degrees drop that I can do. And we're already at 40 megapascals. I just got to hope I have enough gas to actually get to 50. And I might not. Like, I actually may not have enough gas here. So I may have to... <laughs> I may have to eject all this gas and then do it again to get enough gas. We'll see, though. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm curious at this point. But I, I do think we're gonna run out... So there's about 1.2 kilomoles there. And we're already at 6 kilomoles in here. Yeah, it'll be third time's the charm. <laughs> It's not like the, um, it's not like I can't get heaps more of the, um, other gases. I've got quite a bit in my pipes here. I'm not running out of fuel anytime soon. Yeah, that sound is the furnace not happy. Uh, yeah, Mike, you can also electrolyze the water and turn it into the furnace gases too. Where are we at? Yeah. I'm kind of inclined to abandon this now and start a third attempt because we're only at 41 megapascals. I don't think we're going to reach 50. Alright, so let's stop the in. Actually, let's stop the volume pump first. Get this nice and empty. And I'm aware that there might have been better ways of doing this. I'm doing it my way. Because I want to.
that's still in the sweet spot temperature wise. So that's fine. And we're almost empty. <laughs> yeah, Stax Robo, that was um, quite the ending to the last Teal Survival stream. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Just the timing of the conversation with Gapak and what happened. <sighs> That's a good one. Yeah, the, I deliberately did it as a standard large tank rather than an insulated tank because I wanted it to lose temp. It's just in this specific case, it's not ideal. But the temperatures we need for what we're doing here, it doesn't matter. The temperature range that it's holding is well within the smelting range that I'm after. So it uh, ends up not mattering. Okay, let's start putting some gases in. So we went up to two megapascals at around that minus two Celsius sort of range last time. So we should probably do the same this time because it was pretty good starting point. Got us pretty close to the stress levels of the um, furnace right off the bat. How's this fuel mix side of things going? I should probably mix some more up. Okay, where are we at? Alright, we're at the Point, and I may have put a bit more fuel in this time. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. Should be okay. Alright, here we go. Please don't blow. <laughs> ah, it was close. Uh, Alright. So let's crank the input. What the? That's the output, you idiot splitzy. What are you doing? Input is already cranked. Let's get that hot gas back in. It's climbing fairly rapidly in terms of volume. We're seeing this time the pressure is... Including my stupid thing. Pressure is actually going up despite the rapid temperature drop. Because I think the volume pump is moving a lot more moles of gas per tick, which is good. So we've got a lot more to play with. Because the volume pumps move more moles if the pressure is higher. Because it's moving volume, not moles. Um, so that's that was one of the issues I had before. Because the pressure in that system, in that exhaust system, is so low because of the giant tank. That it just didn't... It couldn't move the gases quickly enough as well. Can 
I reach at this time? Place your bets. Actually, we could do place your bets. <laughs> As we wait to see if I've got enough gas. Yeah. I probably should have, before I even started this, uh, done a prediction as to whether I would blow something up, because uh, I wasn't expecting to blow that pipe. I wasn't expecting to explode it. Um, Takari, I don't have any volatiles or oxides lying around. I have been processing them all and putting them into my pipes. So, no, I don't have any lying around. And I don't see any benefit to just throwing in ice or anything like that at this point. I guess if I threw it into the input and threw, like, cold oxide in there, it might work. But I think, uh... You don't reckon it's going to happen this time, Cabraman? Yeah, I might have stuffed it by losing that temperature by exhausting those gases out at the start. So it does seem like we're struggling to even reach the thing this time. Although, there's still 5,000 moles of gas in here. And we've got... 5,000 moles of gas in there. So we should be able to reach it. Yeah, but I was at 45 megapascals because of the 2,000 Kelvin I was at. Um, and that temperature was always going to drop as soon as I brought the exhaust gases back in anyway. I think we can get it this time. It just will require a bit of patience. And hopefully getting there before it gets too cold. There we go. Bad noises have begun. I think there's almost zero chance that it'll be a temperature issue. <coughs> Haven't even hit the top range of the temperature window. 43. We've still got 3,000 moles of gas in here. Oh, actually, we might be just short. It is possible we'll be just short. Heck, let's do it while we watch this. <laughs> do I have enough? Yes. Yes. No. And when I say enough gas, I mean on this run, this specific time, with how much is in the exhaust already. Forty-six. Hydration critical. Oh, fine. Jeez, make me drink something when I'm watching. Yeah, Twisted One, I'm not sure that noise is fine. <laughs> if you were a boiler inspector, I feel like you might have not been doing what you're supposed to be doing. 47. 
Seems like uh, it's about two thirds of people, well, two thirds of meat shields going towards yes. 48,000 to 28,000. Uh, how much we got left in the tank? Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be real close. 48. Past life as in just before the boiler blew up. <laughs> This is going to be really, really close. Oh, I actually don't know which way this is going. Yeah, Caberman, part, that is going to be part of the problem. The volume pump slowing down and everything's cooling off a bit. Yes, the ores I need are already processed. 49. Oh, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Come on. Come on. Thanks, I Zero. Thanks for six months. So close. Come on. There we go, fifty. What? What? Silver, nickel, lead. 50 to 100. Right temperature range. Rounding up at the moment, you reckon? Yeah, what's below? Sarko. Did it. With how much gas remaining? Not a lot. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's output all the gas. No earth shattering kaboom from the furnace today. Or at least for the moment. Uh, sorry guys, 63% to 37%, 68,000 to 40,000, it was 20 people to 21 people though, with the yes-no, so, I did have enough gas, and inconveniently, Charlie just proved that she did too, thanks dog. Oh, that's right. So, I've got a new incentive for getting off my butt and hurrying up to get the Lego setup going. Uh, at dog training, we've started uh, doing the stuff to learn how to do advanced, teach the dogs advanced skills. So... Should start being able to teach Charlie to do some fun tricks in the coming months. And I want to be able to show them off on stream. <laughs> and the Lego setup is going to be the best to be able to do that. Uh, like one of the one of the dog trainers that is at the place I go to with her uh, has her dog trained to. Oh no! What am I doing? What am I doing? No! 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 Ah, stop pulling in. Well, that 
that um, gas is going to have to go through the whole system again. <laughs> Uh, has her dog trained to, whenever she sneezes, bring her a tissue and then take away the dirty tissue and put it in a bin? And I kind of think that'll be a bit of fun to train Charlie to do some of that sort of silly stuff. Now, are you going to be okay with all this extra CO2? Are you going to explode? Teaching her to let go of the Lego. No, she's actually pretty good. Um... With, I've been training her to leave leave it. Um, with her toys, and she's getting pretty good at dropping it when I tell her to. She's generally a pretty trainable dog, despite her often disinterest in food. Yeah, but I, I did have heaps of gas here, but I wasn't willing to pump that back into the dirty thing and have to filter it again. I didn't want to have to filter it twice. Plus, this stuff's cooled down quite a lot, so I would have dropped the temperature too much. Train her not to eat next to your microphones. And when you succeed there, you can try to train Cat back. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh, this is only just below the temp now that I've added the hot gases from the system. It was well below the temperature when I first walked over here. Yeah, agreed, Ostuga. I think Charlie is a lot easier to train than Capac. Hooray! I can now make my better jetpack and then accidentally kill myself by leaving the jetpack too powerful. Oh, I should get another smart canister for my propellant. Alright, let's do... So the wasp alloy is inside now, so that's fine. Uh, let's do a couple of other bits and pieces while we're here. Uh, output can go off now. Input's fine. Alright. We've got plenty of steel in there. I might do what I've been getting told to do and put some basic iron through. And some silicon, I think, as well. Some iron, some copper. Um, I've got... What's... This? Is it? What's steloid? Steloid. Stellite. Silver, silicon, and cobalt. Because I wouldn't mind putting a bit more of that in. As I've been having to shift it back and forth. But I didn't need much of it. I can't remember what other alloys I needed. I know I needed copper and iron, but... I can't remember what other alloys I actually needed at the moment. Oh well. Let's just do some iron and copper then. And you on. Oh wait, I should put I should put the stacker into this system. Uh, so it splits up the stuff. Because that way the stuff that gets delivered to... to the other end actually comes out in smaller stacks. Which is more useful for me most of the time. 
having things come out in stacks of 200 is just a bit hard for me to keep extra stacks elsewhere. Turn you on. And whatever. Let's do some more. See if we can get through that much iron before it gets too cold. Okay, not much fuel in there. Because I accidentally passed a bunch of it through. That'll do. Whoops, no! Oh, why? I clicked the wrong thing. It'll be fine. It's close enough. Urgh. I hate it when I misclick like that. Turn it on. Let's get some fuel in. Night. Yeah, Takari, that'd be kind of handy to have a way to lock off certain things like that so you can't change it accidentally. Did I do 350 or did I do 400? 350, okay. Now let's get some copper. Fifty will be enough for a little while. Oh, actually, let's stop it. Let's go big or go home. See if it'll smelt this much. Should do. I should have enough temperature left. Oh, I'm sure I'll need more copper in the down the line, but it's just how much do I do at the moment and potentially limit how much other stuff I get. Zoom. Zoom. Cool. Uh, I'm going to need to mine more gold. Just thinking about cables and how much gold I'm going to need for the heavy cable to run around the place. I've got heaps of solder. I've got heaps of solder. do. 
Put a bit of silver in there. It's going to get too cold very soon for me to be able to do silicon in it. Um, I guess I could do more copper. I don't have enough gold to do more gold because I would do more if I had more. I just want to leave some of it in case I need astroloy or something else that's got it as an alloy. these gases out. I think I think I'll try again between this week and next week to do even more mining because obviously it's kind of nice just being able to hang around the base and build stuff. And not have to worry about collecting the minerals for the most part. At least during the stream. Although, we'll see. I've got... Um, this afternoon I'm going to be doing more Survival Impossible recording. And I've got the build... One of the builds that I'm doing is enormous, and it's going to depend on how long that takes me to do. But I should still find the time somewhere. Uh, you did not arrive at the end, Marathi. Um, I'm just staring at a chamber waiting for it to empty so I can turn it off. There we go. And we should be barely light on and gas in here, so I can probably just, yeah, I'll turn off all the filters. Here we go. Thank you for the reminder to drop my stuff off. And here's my pile of ingots. I need to redo these lockers. They're terribly done for what I'm actually doing in here. There's my wasp below to go into the tool printer. The Arboretum... I'm going to go back to an old save and get a blueprint of, and I will use the uh, the new welder to repair the Arboretum. Though I'm going to have to do something different on the inside, and I'm not sure what yet. Because it took so much damage. Yeah, the one time I try and save trees. <laughs> uh, no, there's no way to put the trees back. Um, that tree is gone now. Forever. Okie dokie. Hard suit jetpack. 
Need steel, stellite, and astraloy. Where did I put the stellite? In here. Still, do I need for it? Twenty. Uh, Inconel, Invar, Solder, Constantan. Oh, do I not have any more oh, Astroloy around? Oh, there it is. Okay. Better jetpack. Here we come. Yeah, face planting in ten, nine. <laughs> move my pallet canister, Jetpack move critical. that, and put it on. There we go. I got a big, powerful jetpack. Uh, now thrust down. Where does it say how much thrust? Oh, thrust. Ten. Is ten enough? Jetpack on. Okay, ten might be a bit too little. Yeah, thirty seems alright. That means it's time to pressurize the production room. Actually, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Um, should I finish off the production room? Or should I start working on the greenhouse? Paint the suit. Now, uh, after this, maybe I'll let you guys pick the colour that I paint the suit. Because, I, I mean, I could paint myself grey. And I'm tempted to. <sighs> I am very tempted to. Uh, it seems like there's a very strong push towards start the greenhouse. In that case, let's do gold copper. Turn you on, get some more heavy cable. And you say colour, you mean each part a different colour. Oh dear. Capac style. Wrong way up, Capac style. Uh, 
Uh, the color choices in this are a lot more limited than in Space Engineers, so it won't be... I don't think there's anything that approximates teal, unfortunately. Uh, so... For this, I'm going to need more wall kits. And hopefully not too much in the way of frames. But I'll need wall kits, plastic, and glass, I think. But yeah, I, th I guess it would be nice to build the greenhouse slash living area and remove the old base and kind of take down everything there and just have this stuff before I finish tidying up the production facility. Yeah, I'm I'm going to try and avoid the grow lights if I can, Barnaby, just because I am cure, uh, keen to have a space that I can have plenty of daylight in. And yes, the, the vote went strongly towards start greenhouse. <laughs> 36 to 9. So we will be doing the greenhouse then. Uh, while those are producing, I'm just going to talk through something that I've been thinking about. So, the way I've got this set up, I've got this landing here, then stairs, then another landing, then stairs, then living area. What I was thinking was, what if I put the airlock on this block right here? And use glass to glass in the stairs all the way up the top. So we have a single airlock that takes you through the production building and takes you through to the top. So there's a lot more space I can get around uh, before running into any... before having to deal with the airlock again. And it should reduce the number of airlocks I go through. Uh, it means I obviously have to completely redo that airlock, which is annoying. But... And will end up meaning I have to vent this space again. What do you guys reckon? Sounds expensive but highly pleasant. Look great. Makes life faster going indoors, yeah. So do you want Splitsy to start several different projects, forget where he's at and see shiny thing and get distracted, or finish things like a sensible person? Chat votes for all projects at once. Got it. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. I can build the new airlock first and then do the thing. Alright. Uh, close, wait, open, I'm going to take this heavy cable coil and I'm going to go and replace all the wires that run between the generator and here. So let's stop the walls being made. I Oh, all this is going to stop anyway because I'm going to cut power to this section of the base briefly and it'll cancel all the productions. Because what I've got is some stuff that should be done with heavy cable that isn't at present. I think...
That bit's not going to matter because that goes through to the airlock. And that's going to get removed. But that cable goes round. And goes back to the batteries. Yeah. That's what I want to replace. Uh, Skizz is what does Y what YDS? I I think of it as ooh squirrel. Yellow dot syndrome. Oh right. some of how this is happening here around here. Kind of want the input I should really make the input cables a different colour, since they're the ones that are less likely to get fiddled with as often. Uh, can I get in there at all? I don't think I can, because there's no crouch in this. You have to drill. The upshot of station is that if you make a mess of the voxels, you can actually fill them in. Um, the ground level solar solar setup, I hadn't decided what I was going to do with it. I was kind of just going to sort of on. leave it for now. Because it was a low priority to move it anywhere else. Okay, I've really got to pick my timing on when I use the double click to move stuff back into my inventory. Sometimes it ends up being a bit more of a faff than not. Okay, we're back hooked up on that. Now let's hook up the other cable. Jetpack on. Place a single fuse somewhere. Yeah, I probably should do that. So what I'm doing at the moment is just trying to replace all of the main sort of cable line that's going to run to all the different rooms with heavy. Because uh, I've got currently branching to the production facility and branching to the lights on transformers. And I'll do that similar setup with the greenhouse at the top. Uh, 
Uh, now, where's best to hook this up? This line seems a bit unnecessarily out of the way. Could bring it down to here. Put a transformer in behind here, yeah. Do that. Although, if I do this now, I am shutting off power to the old bit of the base. So let's power back to all of this stuff. Which actually, I think, does hook back up to the old part of the base. In a very circuitous fashion, but it does. Okay, cool. That's fine. Get rid of this cable then. Be nice to be able to break this branch and just rip up all this stuff soon. That's going to get ripped up anyway. So let's run a branch. Actually, do I need to run the main cable up there yet? Probably not. But if, well, when I do, I think what I'll do is run it this way. So this will be my main branch that runs up to the production area. I mean the greenhouse living area. Repurpose the old transformer on the pillar for your last branch. There's an old transformer on something? I thought all my transformers were in use. This one's my light switch for the overhead lights. Though that does mean I probably want to move that switch over to here. <laughs> oh well. Now. Here's the big question. Do I try and make a bigger airlock and see if I can make it operate quickly? <laughs> or do I just accept that I suck at that and don't do that? Because basically, if I, as I understand it, if I want the airlock to work quickly, I would want to have an active vent to evacuate all of the cube spaces. Um, and pump into all of the cube spaces. So basically that's four... Like if I had... If I used the entire landing space, that would be four vents. For in and four vents for out. Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't do the. F I'd have to do like a custom airlock setup if I had. If I take up the four spots. Because I need to have a separate door, f like I'd have two doors coming off. Into the pressurized space that doesn't work. So I'd, I could do two. I could do this cube and this cube. I have a door here, because then it goes into a corridor that runs between the two sections. Uh, 
Um, you know what? I know it took a bit of time to fully evacuate that space, but I'm going to abandon having it pressurized because I want to remove the whole airlock because a lot of the cabling around here is going to confuse me. <laughs> Plenty of comments in chat saying go big or go home. Uh, you can't hear Charlie, you can hear... Sounds like a seagull. Or it could be a plover. I'm not sure. Uh, there were no dog noises there, Nuki World. <laughs> I don't know who D Money, I don't know what you were hearing that you thought was a dog, but there were there were no dog noises. Uh, I blow up a pipe, El Guito. That, that's all I've blown up so far. <sighs> Why, when you double click that, does that not stack? I'm going to go through so many tools trying to figure out what I need to dismantle what. I think it'll also be nice getting rid of this airlock space inside the production room because it'll mean I've got um, this extra volume to rearrange the lockers into a nicer setup. Do I need to remove? Yeah, I would have left a big, big mess in here if I didn't get rid of this wall. Redoing it would have been very confusing. I am, um, uh, yeah, the recycler and centrifuge. Was that, I can't remember whether I decided whether I was going to put it down the bottom here or into the production room. I do not recall. All that time spent going through this airlock and only to remove it. <laughs> I still learned some things though from it. So, you know, it was useful from that front.
Okay, getting that. If you were to add a lot of pipes across the ceiling with a passive vent for each cube and link that network of pipes to the sides airlock, you could get the benefit of a prefilled pipe method without the overpressure potential, and that plumbing network can also be used for air conditioning. What? No, I don't follow what you're talking about, Barnaby. Do not follow it. I'm going to have a painful time trying to find everything in here. <laughs> oh. I need to do this to create some space. And... Grinder! Ah! Stop! Same one! Okay. Oh wait, I didn't want that. Tango caution. Well, at least if I do a two block airlock, I've definitely got room for a large battery charger inside, so that's a benefit. Well, I kind of liked having the little one, even though it charges really slowly. Jetpack on. Oh, no, wrench. It's a passive vent. Okay. Let's start this airlock. Barnaby, you're still losing me. You're throwing in too much extra information, I think. Um, if you're just talking about having lots and lots of vents in the main room, uh, I don't really want to do that. Because I think it'll be a pain to set up and not get in the way of other stuff later. Um... So, what we need here is to decide where the walls are going first. Or where the doors and the wall are going. Walls are going. 
kind of want to have a composite window on that side. So I won't use that for any sort of um, stuff. I'm tempted to do door here and door immediately opposite and then have this as a little volume to put like um, the battery charger and other things in without it having to be all cramped and awkward. And then you walk through because then it's a then it's a straight walk through and up the stairs and just a single turn rather than a weird dog leg. We'll do that, I think. Does anyone remember how long it took me to get through the airlock when I measured it last time? Was it 12 seconds when it was overpressured? I thought it... I think it was. Yeah, 12 to 14. Yeah, cool. Now, do I want the big glass doors or do I want the labelled door? Hmm. Yeah, I know the glass doors prevent the access, but I kind of like them anyway. Because you can't run cables along the ends. Ah, stick to these. They do have their significant advantage of cables being able to run up the sides of them. Yeah, true, Takari. I'm not going to be transporting trunks or tanks, really. There's the walls, and then we just need roof. Kit wall. There we go. Ooh, did I place those the same way? I don't think I did. There we go. That would have been ugly. So that's, uh, I've got heaps of walls, so I might start placing down the glass on the other side and put a few bits in. So, composite window. What the heck? Let's go glass on the bottom as well. Uh, it seemed like I had manual airlocks in my options just before. So I think they're the big bulkhead ones you might be talking about, Barnaby. Does anyone remember where... Oh, I think I just left the walls on the ground. <laughs> I did not actually pick them up. I thought I'd pick them up and store them somewhere, but no. Jetpack on. Hmm. Where do I want the glass to start? 
Do I go here? Or do I try and go over this whole box? Let's see how this looks first. I think this is probably the best option. We go to there, then... All across here, at the bottom of the stairs. So that's kind of what I was imagining for this um, glass covered stairway up to the top. And I'll make another door, even though it won't be an airlock door, I'll make another door that I'll put up the top. So where I can work out what I'm going to do up here. Yeah, I think that'll look feel alright from inside. Um, a 2x2x2 two by two by two wouldn't be 4 cubes, it'd be 8. But if you're talking 1x2x2, two by two by two, so it's too high and just... So basically making my current airlock but 2 blocks high. Um, that'd still be, that'd be 4 volumes and I think with all the glass around I'd struggle to figure out where I can run the cables and stuff. Tomatoes rotted. Thought they would have. Yeah, I, Takari, I was tossing up whether to use whether to use an interior door, but I don't think I should. I think because interior doors aren't um, aren't airtight. I thought so. I need to have just a. I need to put a standard door in. Or at least I swear that's what everyone told me when I asked about it earlier. So I'm thinking I'll just put a glass door at the top here. Yeah. This is going to feel heaps better. Heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of plastic and glass. That's what I'm going to need to do. Everyone, those guys don't know nothing. Got 
heaps of plastic, so it's probably just going to be glass I'm going to be short of. I'm going to need to change up these stairs. They look weird with the rails. The rails are embedded in the wall block. There was a lot of glass here, but compared to some of the other things I've done, I don't think there were actually is. I'm not going to place down the wall ones yet. Because I need to do all the cabling behind them. Jetpack on. But since I can't, I won't do any cabling over the glass, I figured I'd place the windows in to get a stronger feel of how this is all going to work. Oh, did I miss a spot? I missed a spot. Jetpack on. Yum. Oh, uh, what? Am I going to have to... That's going to be annoying. All right, let's try and fix these stairs, because apparently I might not be able to fix them as easily as I think. Because they may not place, given stuff that I've got there. Well, that's irritating. Jetpack on. Get my angle grinder out. Put my stairs back in and then put these back in. That is annoying having to do that many steps just to do this thing. Jetpack on. It's kind of weird, I think, putting the window under the stairs, but I think it's the kind of best compromise because if I put something solid there, I think that would look even weirder. Ah, uh, something opaque, I should say. And we've got some glass. And we'll make some more. Hopefully not too much, because I don't need a huge amount yet. Oh, actually, I'll need heaps for the greenhouse. It's fine. Okay. 
Okay, that seems good. Let's get these two. Oh, this is a really awkward place to make sure I haven't missed putting glass panes in somewhere. I'm sure I'll be able to work it out when I can't pressurize it or depressurize it first. on there and let's get these underneath ones. Jetpack on. That should be everyone, I think. I think. I hope. Do you know what I'm tempted to do? Even though it doesn't do anything. I want to kind of... I'm tempted to put one of these 45 degree pieces in just above here so there's a frame there to kind of connect the two a bit. I don't think I'm missing any. Jetpack on. We got... It. Take the left side of the first stair. Ah, that one. Yes, thank you. I am missing that one. I think that's all of them. It's really hard to tell at night. Yeah. No, you don't need one here because this frame's airtight. Alright, uh, let's start setting up this airlock. Um, so, console first. Let's go find the console where I put it. should be enough stuff to get started. So one of the advantages of a single block airlock is that your gas sensor is in the same volume that gets evacuated. With a double one, I think one of the issues I always had was that my gas sensor was not in the volume that was was detecting vacuum before it was full vacuum. Um, so I'm just trying to think where the best spot like can you have multiple sensors with a standard airlock without me having to do some sort of custom setup I thought it only allowed you to have one sensor yeah not without logic yeah I don't, want, I don't want to do a logic airlock. Done one of them before. <laughs> it was painful. Uh, it kind of worked. Sort of. Everyone hated me because my I was spending like a minute in the airlock every time we went through. So <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm disinclined to do that again. Let's put the gas sensor here because why not? Um... 
power controller. Well, the last stream series I actually had ready to go while we were playing uh, elevator music that I would hit play whenever I got into an airlock. Or at least a lot of the time I did that. It was hard to remember to do it all the time. So if we put a console there... Because I know I can hit the door buttons instead of hitting the console, so that's fine. Uh, we've got a sensor up there. We need two active vents in the ceiling. Well, my plan is to put them in the ceiling because I kind of like them in the ceiling. Wait, no, I need I need two per block in the ceiling. Another active vent. That wasn't what I was expecting to have come out then. Oh, that's right. Uh, I remember now. You have to do a logic airlock if you want to do more than one block. Uh, dang it. Can the airlock thing work if I have the active vents on the outside and four passive vents in the ceiling? So what I'm thinking is an active vent in the living space and an active vent in the outside and then four passive vents to connect them so that there's two vent a vent in each space. Or does it get confused if the active vents aren't inside the airlock? Like, does it set them up the wrong way around? Yeah, I'd have to flip I'd have to flip the way that the vents are seen, but it should work then. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it that way. Um oh, another passive vent down here. Just before I go and make more of them. I do not. Uh, right. 
So let's put one going left, one going right. And the same over here. Oh, boop. I can't do the same over here. I uh, may just have to do this a bit differently. Uh, I'll just have to have one pipe go up. And over the other. Then we go active vent on the wall I need to place out here. Active vent here. And we'll go an active vent out here as well. Jetpack on. Which again needs another wall. This one's probably going to be a padded wall. Uh, so, my thinking behind having the double passive vent is to allow the system to draw from both cubes at the same time. I don't think that will necessarily speed up the evacuation of gas from the space, but what it should do is balance the evacuation of gas from the space. So once this gas sensor detects vacuum, we should also have vacuum in this spot too. Um, I think. The logic won't work. You need the regularly interior exterior vents to be the same, but inward outward swapped. I'm, I'm going to test it. I'll, I'll test it. This hopefully won't take too long to build. Hopefully. If you swap the vents when you click pressurize, the room will fill up with room gas before it's able to suck out the Martian air. So, the way that the airlock works is when you click to start the process, it activates the inside vent to suck air in. Sorry, it activates the exterior vent to suck air in and blow it out. If that vent is set up to be this one, it'll suck air in and blow it out in here. If it's set up to be this one, it'll suck air in there and blow... Yeah. Yeah, it won't work. Hydration critical. Oh, I have to do logic. I kind of want to do the logic, but I kind of don't have space in there to do the logic. If I set this up so that I can do the logic under the stairs here, like on this wall, then I've got room to do more stuff. Um, 
Alrighty, we're doing a poll. Mess with airlock or not? So... <laughs> uh, what should I do? Complex airlock. Just get on with the greenhouse. <laughs> ah! I'm just doing, gonna do greenhouse in all caps because I can't fit. Just get on with the greenhouse. Um, or yeah, yep, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I don't need a two-block airlock. <laughs> That's the point. I don't need any of this. Like, I I can survive completely stably with just a bit of mining based off what I've already got. I've got enough food being produced by the portable hydroponics. I can refill its water thing already. I've got water that's at an appropriate temperature. I'm, like, there's actually no need for me to do more. I'm doing more because I'm like, mm, fun. Is this Griebling or Analysis Paralysis? Uh, this is Griebling. Ooh, it is a tight vote. 61 to 64, complex air lock versus greenhouse. And 81 to 86, still close. Greenhouse does seem to be taking the lead now, though. 100 to 85. <laughs> 131 to 30, 130, 139 to 142. Oh, it's now 50-50. It's a dead heat. It's a dead heat with like a minute 20 to go. Oh. Oh, no, Greenhouse has jumped ahead again. Greenhouse has jumped way ahead now. 300 to 200. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, that's what the points are for, Marathi. This is, this is where you can burn them. Here, predictions. Oh, I don't do much with them, so this is where we can have some fun with them. 350 to 225. I think Greenhouse has run away with it at the end. Uh, so, if Greenhouse wins, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a single block airlock. So I'll put a wall across here. But what I'll try and do is put as much of the equipment in this space here. There we go. Greenhouse wins with... <laughs> I don't know which side Tommaso contributed to, but Tommaso contributed 63,000 channel points. Because <laughs> uh, it doesn't actually say which side people contributed on. Just that they contributed. <laughs> All right. Simple airlock it is. Let's rip up the stuff I was putting down. Alright. So we've got our sensor in the ceiling. We'll go to active vents in the ceiling as well. So that gets them a bit out of the way. Then what I want on the wall is a console and a small battery charger. So 
was about to say, do I need the console in here? Yeah, I kind of do. I like having the console inside the airlock because it, it makes it so you can see what's happening. And I dislike uh, being flying blind once I'm inside. Uh, right, let's make another battery charger. Or do I just go remove the other one? Maybe I'll just go remove the one that's in the other airlock. <laughs> I usually lose all my points on their bets. Felt really weird having <laughs> <laughs> to spend. Uh, glad to have gotten you hooked on the game, Zachy. Uh, small battery charger there. And that should be everything I need inside. Yeah, you don't need the console to activate it because the but the door panel button thing, door button panel thing activates the airlock cycling as well. Which is kind of convenient. Uh, now. Grinder. At least I've got a couple of active vents for helping uh, vacuum this place when I when I'm ready to go. Right, let's build the doors because I think that helps me. Holding torch and plastic sheets. Okay. Now let's do all of the cables because there's going to be a lot. go like that to go down to the doors. Oh, hang on. Am I going to leave this roof piece in here? Or am I going to get rid of it and now and then move the APC to the wall? I think so. Leave it and use it for support equipment. I mean, I've got the space on top of the airlock block, so... I shouldn't need it. And I think it'd be nice to get rid of it. Okay, back to the cables. Heavy. No, 
There we go. Uh, did I decide that I was going to put a um, a transformer in before the APCs? I think I did. Was it redundant? Can an APC not blow? Or is it really just more of a switch at that point? Eh. Uh. I think it's redundant. Doing it anyway. Because really... All the power controller is is a battery for the airlock. Yeah, but APCs are ugly switches because you have to open them up. Whereas these switches are exposed. So they're neater. Um, right. Now i just got to do the gases. Which means bringing them back to this wall. Jetpack on. Actually, I think... One of them should be this way round. Oh wait, I need to put a wall down. So this was the one I was going to try and pressurize. I haven't left myself enough room. Maybe I do need to... Maybe I do need to have that roof bit there so I've got room for the stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it back and then I'll put a wall. Oh, maybe i put a roller door across here to access this area. Yeah, that could work. And putting the wall back. Outside massive vent. We'll pop down there. And then our inside one. Jetpack on. It's kind of tempting to put two of them down. Even though I know it doesn't make any difference. Uh, pipes. I need pipes. You're just going to repressurize the whole thing after the shell of the greenhouse is finished. Uh, my plan is... 
to... Yes. Pressurize everything. So the whole thing will be one large volume. I want to do it that way because I don't want to have to go through airlocks more than once. But also because I think it adds to the... Like, it, it means that the that I can leave my helmet off for a bit and do things like that, which I've never really done in this game. Uh, on. So I'm just thinking about this system that I need to have supercharged with pressure and how I want to approach that. I'm not sure. Because last time I was using the pressure release valve. If I overpressured it too much. Yeah, Elfin Slayer, that's sort of what, what I'm thinking. Close it off as a utility closet. Uh, there's like little roller doors that I could put in front of this to make it so it's exa it's accessible, but it's closed. Uh, I think what I want to do is put an active vent that's manually controllable on here. So my idea here is if I have a, here's my back, my pressure regulator. Which I want that way around, which means, oh, that's annoying. Is the cables on the wrong, on an annoying side. Oh, actually that's not bad at all. That's fine there. So a back pressure regulator there. And then I want an active vent set up on here to be able to suck air in. Oh yeah, I could flip these actually. That's a good point. I do kind of want that where I can reach it. that way around I'll be able to control it within from the inside and then same with the uh, active vent so my idea here is that if I've got an active vent on here I can set it up to pressurize this line with the back pressure regulator there to depressurize it if I overdo it at any point or if it's or if it gets overdone accidentally uh, it needs to come off there it's probably way too many layers here but it'll be fine Yeah, sadly, the things only are in one orientation, which is annoying. Uh, I've got more cables down here, don't I?
Uh, Aussie Paramedic, I've got a l short, a couple of tutorials I did on this a while ago, but nothing terribly recent. It should get you started ish, but they changed the beginning of the game a bit, so some of the stuff isn't accurate, and it happened like a couple of weeks after I released the tutorial, so I lost a lot of motivation to do more until things settled down a bit. Uh, which still hasn't happened. <laughs> Yeah, there is that point, Nico World. I, with my, between the stream, like with the streams that I've done, you probably could get a reasonable idea of how, of what not to do. <laughs> Without too much trouble. Did that's a lot of content to watch when, to learn. But it is, like, I think... I feel like this single player series more so than the multiplayer one I've probably shown off how you can do stuff and how to think through some of the stuff because it's talking it through with you guys as well. And I like if I was um back when I had more time to do that sort of thing, I like I would have often watched a stream off to the side while I was playing and learning myself and so that's always an option as well I think everything's piped up Oh wait, I gotta go get the labeler so I can just use the labeler to fix this up. I think I left the labeler down here somewhere. Yep. Uh, actually, let's go 10,000. Pump vent. Which is called pre pump vent. Pre pump vent, and then we've got external vent, internal vent. External. External door, internal door, that should be all I need to label I think, yeah, now let's get some walls built and see if this thing works. Doesn't look terribly, terribly ugly yet. Jetpack on. 
could put in a light. Uh, yeah, I could have. Oh, is it steel sheets for the thing? Yeah. Alright, so in theory, if I build this door at the top of the stairs, we should be airtight here. Disc. There it is. So what I first want to do is check to see if I can pressurize this space, which means the easiest way to do that is close the external door. Turn the external vent inward and turn it on. And it looks like we are slowly pressurizing. I think. But what I should probably do is set up a couple of these <laughs> with my remaining active vents so that I've got another way to get more out. Yeah, the data disk is a really weird extra step. It's a really weird extra step. I don't know why they've got that. No, no, no. Upstairs is closed. This this is a airtight door. Like there should just be like a a switch to make it cha change modes. Uh, Ashy's snot, it's an accent thing. Just deal with it. Very few Australians say data. Uh, how long do I want to stay around in here while waiting for this to happen? And what do I want to do now anyway? Yeah, I can frame in the greenhouse while I'm waiting, I guess. Uh, if we close that, open that, um, no, because of this setup, I can't do that. Dang it. All right, I'm going to set up a manual, I'm going to set up a separate thing for evacuating this. Uh, what I want to do is have couple of passive vents inside. Maybe just on the Jet roof. Maybe, no. Let's not do it there. Let's do it somewhere obvious. And... There we go, and I'll stick an active vent outside. Thanks, Moen. Also, I think I missed Pamphy earlier. Thanks for the 19 months. And apologies for missing that earlier. Jetpack on. Okay. That 
should keep evacuating the space inside. And I should be able to monitor it by just looking at this pipe. Yep. Sweet. Uh, Barnaby, it's all unwanted atmosphere. Because this isn't Mars. This is a modified Mars with only pollutant. See? Just pollutant. Uh, right. How do I want to lay out my greenhouse and living space? Got all this room. And I don't know how big the greenhouse trays and stuff are. I should probably get some of those first and lay them out and then build the building around it. Uh, that's east-west though. Yeah, but the exterior is not going to be entirely glass. There's got to be some wall on it. I can feel pretty confident in doing this part. Uh, Mythos, uh, I've mentioned this a few times. Capac can't help because the this patch is not ready for multiplayer as yet. Also, he works while I'm streaming this. The day I chose was deliberately one of the days that he can't join anyway because I knew he couldn't join anyway. I could make this space all one giant open glass area and that'll be big enough and then think about how to lay out some sort of decorative purposes only living space and respawn area in the second half. Oh, <laughs> you made it more, yep, gotcha mythos. <laughs> Yes, the upside down med bay. I had a lot of fun setting that up to mess with Kapak. Doing the uh, whole inverting gravity so that he thought he was the right way up and then flipped as he walked through the door. Or is that all the walls I've done so far? I think that's going to be all. Jetpack on. Um, as to the question of just two blocks high. Should I really go three? Three seems a bit excessive, even for me. <laughs> was I giggling the whole the entire time I put that med bed together? Uh, I was certainly feeling rather proud of myself. Uh, but Takari, remember, I will be using water to temperature stabilize. So I don't need to worry about the larger volume versus small. The temperature stability of it is not going to be particularly relevant. If three is excessive, you should strive for four. <laughs> Three only isn't excessive if you have hanging lights. Uh, yeah, I suppose we could go... Uh, 
was annoying. I mean, for this area, I was thinking I'd actually have lights along the wall and no lights where the glass is. So it'd just be wall lights lighting up the area. Yeah, what the heck, let's go three. And then I'll put a door in and then we can pressurize, build the hydroponics and then figure out the living spaces at a separate time, which gives that flexibility. Uh, need to make more walls. Ah, poop. Close that. I'm gonna, I'm, I have to let more air in. That's really annoying. Oh, no, wait. No, that'll work. As long as I don't have any Jet gas on. in this inward system. That's what I need to make sure of. And I have a small amount in there. It's easy to fix though. There we go, done. Uh, saucepan can, should they add half blocks? I would like to... It'd be nice if stationers had smaller volumes to build with. I would like that. Um, assuming it doesn't completely kill performance. Walls. Uh, I'll be back in just one sec. the noisy birds are back. <laughs> that was, that was a bio break. That was cause, oh, hello Storm. That was cause I, um, I drink a lot of water while I stream cause I need, my mouth gets really dry otherwise. I want walls. How many have we got? That's 30. Oh. Where are the hydroponics made? Are they this one? Uh. Hydroponic station, tray, device. 
Hmm. Do I want the hydroponics station? No, I want a hydroponics tray. Hydraulic pipe vendor. Now these don't these don't require placement on No, they don't. Good. I was a bit worried that these were gonna reply require placement on steel frames, which I wasn't gonna be happy about. Um, Demon Works, you can get tomato seeds from tomatoes. You just plant the tomato as a seed. I do kind of get what you're saying, though. How close are we? 180 pascals. Um, then I'm going to need a whole bunch of water pipe. Just going to need a whole bunch more iron. I'll have to move the water system. Because it's still in my clunky old location. <laughs> Thanks, Ash, it's not. Um, I kind of want to do my Be Right Back video again. So I've got a few... A few alternate options. So it's not just the one option that I've got. Uh, I'll still go. I don't have any plans to make a Harvey, to be honest. Because I don't know how to do it. So I don't even know what it's useful for. So I can't have plans around it because I don't know how it works. <laughs> um, I may mess around with it, but yeah, I don't know what it is. A Harvey is some little robot thing that requires you to program it to do stuff. I'm wondering where I'm going to put the pressure, uh, put the vent to pressurize this space with all my CO2 and my nitrogen and my O2. Hmm. Power low. Oh. Finally got down to half my nuclear battery. And I love nuclear batteries in this. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing here. Sure, that'll do for now. Because I don't actually know how these things work. I've never, I've never set up these hydroponics before, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it. No. Wait. No, that should be fine. That was the external vent. That's fine. That's fine. There's just no point having it on now because it's just going to cycle out around. Uh, 
jetpack on. Um, so, I think do I want? I kind of want them lifted off the floor a bit, but I'm not sure what I'm going to use to make them look supported. I kind of like the idea of being able to walk down rows of the plants and have them at, like, eye height. Um, do I want them there or do I want to move them further down? I think I'll move them further down. them down in this corner. Not right up against the glass though because I want to be able to walk past. I'm going to need a kitchen and all that stuff too, aren't I? Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I could use a T-junction, simulate support. Maybe every second one. Yeah, I kind of like this idea. And then I can possibly use some gas pipes coming in at the sides if it still doesn't feel right. Once the floor's in. works. Don't oh, get in there. What a kind of Oh god, I do have gas pipes on me. I'm going to try something once I've got these connected. Like that. Alright. Yeah, I was... Initially I was thinking something like this. For each clump of trays. What do you guys reckon? What do you think looks better? Leaving it open or putting more of them together and using these supports? These are support. I'm kind of leaning towards the supports. No, I won't fit through the gap, so I'll have to move them further apart. And that is a downside, actually. Because if, if I have them further apart, that means there's um, less of that feeling of walking through your own little greenhouse forest. I 
I do have a lot of room to use. It is true. Uh, you know what? This this look is okay with me. I'm alright with it now. Uh, right. So let's connect these up and then we'll start piping. Then we'll push the water out down here. Oh, wait, actually, I think I want... Uh... How do I want to do this? Would a passive vent coloured brown make it look like wooden slats? I honestly don't know, and I'm kind of curious. Do I have any passive vents outside? Jetpack on. I wonder if you can even get the passive vent in there, because the passive vent needs to be mounted on something, doesn't it? Yeah, Barnaby, that was exactly why I stopped where I was. I was like, oh, wait a second, I'm going to want these to be insulated, I think. Um... The ones that are outside, but I also want to put a valve in. Which means I think what I want to do, because I don't want to just have a valve on the floor in my proper bit of my base, I think what I want to do is actually pipe all the way back to where the wall's going to be, put my controllable valve there, and then go outside to where the insulated pipe will be. So there. Uh, so... Need to come back and make insulated water pipes. Then I have to connect this water system here which goes just dead into here. Okay. Um, through into the inside. The other nice thing about Jetpack running on. the pipes up to this wall is that I kind of do want to use the water system as a temperature buffer, which means if I've already run it to the wall, I can extend it off this way to have radiators and whatnot along this wall to further equalize this temperature with the inside. Uh, where's my brown space? Break brain. Passive vent. Oh, I do have one. Oh, wait. I'm not going to be able to place these at all where I would want them for it. It's a cool idea, but the trouble is I'm not building on the cube. These have to be placed on a wall. And because I'm not building on the cube, I won't be able to place them in a way that they would work. Oh, they're too short anyway. No. Oh. That would have been a cool little feature if it had worked. It's a kind of cool idea. Radiators under the hydroponics might look good. Yeah, that could work as well. Uh, let's see how it looks. Jetpack on. Oh yeah, if there's if I put, it'll be unnecessary. But if I put one, if. Oh, come on, brain. Seriously. If I put one under all of them, it looks like it's kind of a vent to catch any water leaks. Oh, cool. So I was I was right in a taking on 
real world physics stuff with water being much more capable of buffering heat. Cool. That's good to know, Demonworks. Yeah, Corin, I kind of play everything with a bit of realism. I, Capac and I both play very similarly, and I think that's why we can play games like this so much together. Even when we know that there's a janky way we can do something, we still like to make things look like they could work in the real world, at least to some extent. Like, I never used upside down uh, spikes in Seven Days to Die, even though I knew that they're zomb they could be really effective against the zombies. So I was like, well, it just looks wrong. It just looks cheesy and cheaty. If they weren't attached to a wall or a roof or whatever. That's just how I like to play the game. I know other people like to min max and it's for them the fun part of the fun is in coming up with ways to exploit holes in the game. Um, and to each their own. Okay, this feels huge. <laughs> uh what do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need 27 more walls. Uh, 26 and a door. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, that's that's a separate issue, I think, Damon works. <laughs> I'm talking about, um, yeah, exploiting anti-gravity in seven days. Exploiting the stupid mechanic, uh, engineering PhD zombies is acceptable, I guess. Or you just go play a version that doesn't have that issue. Or do what I've done with my recent restart of Ravenhurst and zombies do very little damage to blocks. I want to build a house. Jetpack on. Yeah, I don't need Jetpack more plastic on. sheets. That's good. And here comes the rain again. Poor Charlie looked so upset when I took her on a walk yesterday. We got... We were about 90% through the walk. Just about... Like 300 meters from home. And just started pouring with rain. I'd looked at the rain radar to see rough... Like to see whether I had a window. And I thought I had a bigger window than I did. She was not impressed when she got cold and wet. Are you preparing to feed a colony? Maybe. It's nothing like the smell of soggy doggy. Yep. Yep. <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the separator. I'm going to put a wall in temporarily. 
Um, but I kind of want to put a little balcony for the living area up at this height so you can kind of overlook the greenhouse. Um, I'm probably going to have an unnecessary... Well, I'm absolutely going to have an unnecessarily large greenhouse here. One thought I had was to build this and get Capac in and then... Like, when, when we start our multiplayer, if I can get him to do it, um, I was thinking, bring him into this world, blow it up, and then start a fresh one. Just so he knows what we can do. Uh, right. That's all of the plastic done. And we got a little bit of glass. Let's use that up and then I'll have an idea of how much I need. Jetpack on. Jetpack low. Oh no. Thankfully in station ears I can make my pressurized spaces breathable as long as I've got enough oxygen. And not enough of the bad stuff. I don't have to put heaps of nitrogen in. So I don't think I've got a lot of nitrogen. It's not unnecessarily large. Uh, I mean, it is, but I'm okay with it. It's grand. I wanted this to be grand. I'm going to smelt a bit more silicon because I can't remember how much is in there and I feel like we need a lot of glass. I've got heaps of CO2. I've got heaps of CO2. So my plan is to make it um, predominantly CO2 atmosphere inside. The sort of thing that would cause a human to uh, probably drop dead. Because it would mess with all your um, acid-base balance in your blood, having that much CO2 breathing in. Uh, right. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of moles of CO two. Uh, let's where is it? Just because we're talking about it at the moment, let's quickly go over there before I ignite the thing. I have 29 kilomoles. I think we'll be able to get it up to a reasonable point. And then I'll throw some... I'll go mine some oxide and throw it in there as well. Am I going to have a way to capture O2 from the plants? I don't plan to. Uh, but probably would eventually, yeah, I guess. I suppose it reaches that point where the plants stop like yeah I mean I'll have to to just balance it out but I don't think that's going to be an issue for some time oh I cooked 
the half thing of silicon. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how... I've, I've not built a lot of uh, big hydroponics setups, so I do wonder how quickly I'll process the CO2 and how quickly I'll be able to turn that into oxygen um, and whether I'll potentially end up with too much oxygen hanging around in general because of oxide. Yeah, I don't know. Be f interesting if I get to the point of finding that out. Um, guess I can do more copper. Yeah, with only a single me consuming O2 and turning it back into CO2, there's, uh, there's not likely to be much. Like, I'm likely to produce way too much. Alright, let's vent this out, because we're done. I don't think I want to process anything else right now. Yeah, Demiworks, they may well add some other things to have more balanced uh, gas cycles. It is one of the things I kind of like about uh, doing stuff on Mars is that you can pull in that extra CO2 from the atmosphere. So you could do that as your way to get oxygen with a big greenhouse rather than using oxides. Um, but with this version of Mars, because it's all pollutant, I would need to probably mine coal, burn that off, or from my furnace, off gases, get the CO2 that way. It has to be one of the two. I, mean, I suppose selling tanks of gases to the traders could be a thing too jetpack critical do 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 That'll do. That'll last me a while. Okay, my silicon should be inside, which means I can now go make some more glass. Also, I reckon we're probably vacuum inside now. Jetpack on. Oh! <laughs> so close. Thank you for the reminder to turn off the pump. I forgot to. Also, it's not a pump. It's a back pressure regulator. It's a pressure regulator, sorry. So it won't push it over pressure. So it's safe. But yes, waste of power. That 
is such a tiny amount of gas. I'll leave it running for a while uh, as we do the other stuff. Uh, yeah, Station Ears was 2017, I want to say, uh, when it got released into Early Access, and it remains Early Access this stage. But, you know, these days, I guess... Like, these days I'd argue that we should talk about released as the day they put it into early access, because what does release really mean in a game that's getting constant de constant ongoing development and updates? Um, early access has very much blurred the lines. Well, the combination of early access and ongoing development being kind of coming about at similar-ish times really, really blurred the line of where release is. So I need a bunch of glass and then... Like a stack and a bit of glass should be enough. And then I need the wall and all of the... I need enough kit walls and plastic. Which I think I've got enough plastic. Okay. Uh, do a little bit more before I do the walls. Rather not have, rather not risk having to come back in. So my plan is to just do a really bland, completely flat wall, maybe with one door. Actually, no, I'm just going to do a completely bland flat wall. And then we can build and design the living space on the outside of that. And then once it's enclosed, we can then punch through the wall and have it all nice and done. Okay, that I think is going to be enough. Uh, kit wall, I needed 27. Yeah, early access is a mixed bag, but it's here to stay. There is the advantage of, you know, game devs getting feedback on concepts, and I think that can be really, really helpful if the game devs take it in the right way. So you need to know which which feedback is good feedback and which feedback is taking the game away from the direction you want it to go. And I think... If you're someone who has a really strong idea of where your game is going and what you want the game to be, then early access shouldn't cause you too much problem. But if you don't have a clear idea of where it's going, I really think that early access can be a massive problem for people because you're then taking feedback from people who may not understand game design in general and so are giving you advice based on flawed logic um 
So it really does, it really is a case by case sort of thing as to whether it's been good or been bad. I certainly, like from a personal perspective, I qu I've quite enjoyed being around to watch a number of games grow. Like I've really enjoyed watching Stationers grow, watching Space Engineers grow, um, and being part of seeing it change and go through those stages. I think that's kind of made me more attached to the games. But then I've also had the flip side of where I've watched Seven Days to Die go from a game that I was really, really loving to the vanilla version of it being something that I don't even... You can almost not recognize if you just take a look at the gameplay itself because it's no longer about building. It's about kind of being a action game, which is a complete change in direction. And it's like they, they're my prime examples of seeing it go both ways. And I mean, then you've also got the argument of wasn't No Man's Sky released at release? If they'd been true early access what it what it became was what a lot of people wanted it to be but it just didn't get there because it was oversold at the start um and of course as being brought up in chat you can't ignore the benefit to indie developers of having money in their pockets to begin with like before they get like as they're developing the thing because a lot of them are struggling when they're developing these things So yeah, I don't I don't have a strong feeling either way. I can certainly see merits and um, issues both ways. Oh, we're down to two Pascals. It was five when we came in, wasn't it? I think. Um, cool. Is there anything else I want? Do I want to get a door? Is there any advantage to having a door rather than a wall that I break through? I don't think so. Also, I don't need these stairs. I can deal with them after. I'll do the idea I have with them once I'm inside. Hey, thanks, Priority 4. TFA, I'm pretty sure we've talked about some of the us making a game, not making a game thing when we've been playing um, Rocket League together. Catback and I dream, dreamt of making a game and that's how Light Echoes happened. Because we are not programmers. We are not game designers. And... We realised that we would probably never actually manage to finish a project like that. So we gave up before we even started. <laughs> Which was probably the smartest thing we could have done. Uh, Dormy, interior doors aren't airtight, I thought. That's why I don't have an interior door. I need this space to be airtight because I'm going to pressurize the whole lot in one go. <laughs> yeah, 
that's that's true, Corin. Just because you're passionate, you're not necessarily good at something. But passion does help you become good at something if you're willing to acknowledge that you are flawed at it. Uh, if you're someone who can see that you're not the best at what you're doing and can therefore see where you can improve, then your passion allows you to spend the time needed to do that and achieve that improvement. I think, anyway. Oh. Oh, I actually do need a door. And I needed an active vent in here to get rid of the gas. Jetpack Nuts. Um, so the reason I realized I need a door is how do I build all these walls and get out of this space without walking into this space? The pressurized space on the other side of this door, which I don't want to do yet. So, Capac and I are not programmers, and that's why we can't make a game. Like, a game jam doesn't work if you don't know how to write code. <laughs> I can't see how that would help. Jetpack on. Knocking out a panel doesn't work either for leaving it as a door, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't let you build the wall from the back side. So I need to put a door in. I also need to get an active and passive vent set up in here. So my thought is, have a door here, going through into sort of like, I might put, I could put like batteries and other things down here or like a production area, but also uh, then have, I was thinking open stairs in here, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just put stairs behind the wall immediately and then have a balcony... Uh, my green, my living space does not need to be bigger than the greenhouse. I just don't have have a balcony hanging out over like this. I just picked that spot as a spot to stop because this felt big enough. And I was going to put a little balcony up here. Oh yeah, I can put like the I can have the kitchen in this lower bit, can't I? And then have the upper living space. Yeah, do that. All right. Let's get the plastic that I know I've got. Build those walls, then go back in and get the door. Jetpack on. Yeah. Oh, you can build from the back. I could do it that way then. Um, I feel more confident having a door in there. I need to get the vent set up anyway. Oh yeah, fridge too. Good point. Uh, there are just standard, like standalone fridges though. Which I thought I would use. Uh, so, I need a door. I need a passive vent. Actually, I might get a pair of passive vents and a pair of active vents. And some pipe. Because I want to try and evacuate that space a bit faster than what the other one's taking. Uh, 
Oh, down to point seven. Point eight. Okay. <laughs> Gee, this last bit of gas is the hardest bit to get, isn't it? Uh, all right. Active vent. And then passive. Oops, didn't mean to click then. Yeah, I suppose I do have a heap of space. I could make a walk-in fridge. But that would require an airlock. Because otherwise, I think with the way that Stationers works, the co the heat exchange would happen so rapidly with a walk-in fridge that it would not really work. Um... I also would like to get some more heavy cable because I need to run the heavy cable up to the top. Yeah, Mike, that's what I thought. I thought the large fridge was like a modern day fridge that you just supply it with power and you're sweet. Walk-in fridge wouldn't work because the gas has caused the food to deteriorate faster. Uh, so it's not just temperature. Okay. Uh, transformer as well is what I'm going to want. And I needed a door, so let's get the door while that thing's working. Well, let's see what this interior door looks like. To see whether it'll be useful for that um, little cupboard that I've got over there. Yeah, so, but a walk-in fridge in this game would require a proper airlock, I would have thought. Interior door padded. Ooh. Padded thin. Triangle. Glass. Two plastic sheets. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't really like that it sticks out past the wall there. I like how it looks when it's closed. Especially once I spray paint it white to match the rest of the walls. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. See if it grows on me. Oh, so much cable needed. So much cable. I think what I might do before the next stream is I'll also do some smelting and production of some basic stuff, like make a few stacks of heavy cables, make a few stacks of regular cable, make a few stacks of a few bits and of those basics. Um, to expedite that side of the production. Although I do kind of like the fact that it gives me a chance to talk and think through stuff. Sometimes not having that means I'm doing stuff too quickly and I kind of lose track of what I'm up to.
I uh, don't know if you can turn it sideways to open up and down. I think that'd be a bit weird though because um, you wouldn't then be able to walk in. Alright, that'll do on that front. Let's pop these out. Let's make some regular cable quickly. Oh, you meant flip it round so those vents are up higher. I get you. Uh, let's see. That's the glass one. Uh, no. It appears to be always that way. I can't flip it. From what I remember reading, and no idea if it's up to date. For a walk-in fridge to work perfectly with zero food degradation, you need a dense nitro atmosphere and a very low temperature. So more of a thing to do for the sake of saying you've done it than because it's a good idea. So, like most things. <laughs> um... Did I end up making the wall kits? Oh, I've already done that. Um, got the door. Got the vents. Got the pipes. Got the cables. And I want a transformer. Okay. Are we at vacuum? Oh, we're so close. Still not quite. Yeah, I think the smoother finish works better than having the padded on that door. Let's get the vents going. Go ahead, hold my beer. By the way, you can have a refrigerated vending machine instead of a fridge in case you want to connect chutes. Um, I don't know that I do. Kind of. Yeah, I'm not sure that I want um, chutes going into my living area fridge. To think about that. I don't, I don't know. Aesthetically, I'm, I'm thinking I may not want it. That's where I'm coming from. Jetpack on. Whoops. Going. 
around here. Um, can you travel from the planet's surface to space station in Station S? Not at this stage. They're still working through deciding what the purpose is of the rocket that can get you off your planet, other than giving you a fresh start somewhere else. But last, um, Dean, who's the CEO, dropped into my chat. Uh, they hadn't yet decided what the plan was around that. Um, so, if he didn't know, then <laughs> no one knows, I imagine. Or if he was unwilling to say, then no one's going to be willing to say. I just want farming to produce nice perish unperishable seeds so that I'm actually producing stable. But you can demon works. You can get the seeds. You saw me get seeds earlier. It just requires very specific timing to get the seeds. Uh, which I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Also, I've put those in really annoying spots. Oh, actually, no, not really. Look what I'm doing here. Uh, pipes. Oh, so you could set up a Harvey to time and time it correctly and get the seeds. That's cool. That helps. Okay. So if I turn those vents on, I don't need to build anything in here at the moment. So let's, let's flick the power on. Let's give some output. Yeah, I'll still go. Paste away. Um, so inward, on. So inward. On. And then we close the door. Jetpack on. And then we realize that the way I've set this up means there's actually no way for me to check the pressure inside without using my jetpack. Yeah, Demon Works, when the plants have their flowers, you can take the seeds off them. If I head into my greenhouse, I can show you. Because that's going to take a little while anyway, and I'm not sure what to do while I wait. Because I'm not sure what to do around designing the rest of my house. So, you can see my stacks and stacks of seeds. I think I've got like 30 uh, tomato seeds in there. That I've collected through just wandering past at the right time. And never planting with seeds if I don't have to. So, like when, because these are all ready grown, I just plant the tomatoes as the seed. But when they get to a level where you can kind of see a um, the flowers on them, they'll show up saying harvest seeds. And you can get two seeds from each plant that way. And the seeds end up looking like these. But yeah, like, 
given how much you guys know I get distracted, I've still ended up with 20, 34, 34 tomato seeds. So I, I, the window's wide enough that as long as you can see it from wherever you're working, uh, at least see it occasionally, you'll get enough seeds to get by. Uh, until you want to automate it later on. Um, I don't think I want to bring anything in from here yet. What I might do is go into the production room and rearrange those lockers that are in a terrible arrangement. So, if the greenhouse has got um, down to a reasonably low pressure, I'm actually somewhat tempted to just open the door between it so that I've got three vents working on the last little bit all together. How is it at four kilopascals in that pipe? That I don't understand. I could move the arc furnace. You're, tr you're right, Takari. Oh, yeah, it could be my jetpack increasing the pressure in the cell. You're right. Uh... Still higher pressure though. Jetpack on. You know what? I'm opening up. I'm combining the two spaces since they've both got to be evacuated anyway. It doesn't speed up any of the process by having it separated. We're at so close to vacuum in here. Let's do it. Let's open it up. Yeah, the way I've done the passive vent, if I'd done the active vents on the outside, then the pressure in the pipe would have been indicative of what the pressure was in here. Uh, I did that wrong. I should have put the I should have put the actives on the outside. So that I had a window into the inside. Oh, weird. I think these vents sucking in is kind of slowing the transition of air into this room from upstairs. Because you, like, go across that threshold and it goes up dramatically. Huh. <laughs> no, it won't be an eight-hour stream today. I want to do some recording of Survival Impossible this afternoon. Uh, so I will be calling it at some point. I just got a bit carried away with this of late. So I'm like, yeah, I really want to finish what I'm doing or I really want to do these things. And what I want is floor grating. What?
Oh yeah, and I want to rearrange the things too, don't I? Okay, railing. Do all the things push all the buttons, indeed. Um, I don't know, Corrin. Am I going to get some bit emotes? Are there separate bit emotes? These are things I've not even looked at. Railing, elegant. Ooh, I kind of like that. I think I like that one. I've, I'm trying really, really hard to avoid using my jetpack in here because it's going to mess with the amount of pre uh, gas that needs to be removed. Yeah, so my thought was having three rows of the planters, that's all. And maybe go up to eight of them, possibly. In each row. That's all I want to do. I might do more than that in if once I've decorated the space up there, once I realize what I don't that I don't need this space for anything else. And I can just stand on that balcony overlooking a sea of green. Yeah, I could build the CO2 pipe connection. I'm going to have to do that at some point. Down to two. It's kind of impressive that this game keeps track of the gases to such tiny amounts. Nah, Domi, I wasn't planning on filling it. Depends whether I've got a nice little eating area and whether I want to have that down with the plants or whether I want to have it overlooking the plants. I'm not sure yet. You need a self-destruct button in case you are overrun by giant alien ants. Hmm. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll have a look at it, Karin. Uh, I don't really have other emotes to use, though. Okay. <laughs> Half the issue is, like, I, I don't have stuff to use, like, to put into emotes. Pictures. Uh, so we need to pipe gas into here. Uh, and pipe the water up here. So I need some insulated liquid pipe. Liquid. Insulated tank connector. Insulated liquid pipe, there we go. Steel and silicon.
Uh, yeah, I did. I did try and launch trucks into orbit when I when it had the bug that I could just spawn them in. It's quite fun. It's a pipe, and I don't need more insulated pipe in general. More steel up here. Am I about out? Ooh, okay. May need to send more steel up here. Um, so what I want to do is have my water storage. I want to have a water storage connection between outside and inside so that I can use it as a thermoregulator for the greenhouse, but also. I was thinking of putting the water ice crusher next to the volatiles and oxides. And then having a water tank outside and have it connected up to the pipe network. Assuming I get that much water, which I may well not. Uh, it'll probably just be the pipe network initially. I just wanted to have options. In fact, do I even need insulated pipe? I probably don't. I just want more regular water pipe. Liquid pipe valve. Yeah, let's use a mechanical one. Oh. Having the wall on here, I can't see. There we go. Light on. So as long as I know the temperature of the outside water, or I, well, I'll be able to see what the temperature of the inside water is and equalize the two if I need to. But if we have a look at my outside water supply, I think it's actually relatively warm. Because Mars is not particularly cold. Certainly not Europa cold anyway. 0.09 Pascals. We're getting there. So, I was kind of thinking I might just pump this space full of CO2. Like, not worry about putting any oxygen in it. I may put some oxygen in it using oxides, like just letting off the oxides in the space. Um, but I was thinking of just doing CO2 only and letting the plants gradually deal with it and seeing how, much, seeing how long it takes to get breathable. Or at least I'm not going to worry about piping my fuel oxygen into this space at this stage it's probably a better way to say it because maybe because I, I probably will end up throwing off oxides in here partially because it's fun watching them dance around as they uh sublimate sublimate i think that's right yep the plants need a reasonable temperature water and I think my I, I think my water is a reasonable temperature. Yeah, that's all the pipe I'm getting. Now, I had been thinking of putting insulated piping here, which I will do for now. Uh, 
Uh, but I, d I don't actually think it was required. Oh yeah, let's just have a look at my water. Yeah, no, don't throw away my good tablet. So my water storage here. Oh, it's a 0.4 degrees. That is pretty chilly. It'll warm up though. Uh... So let's turn it. I want to try and get my water cr ice crusher with these two. Uh, I might keep it. S I'll keep it separate off to the side here. I think, just for risk of putting the wrong thing in the wrong thing. Uh, drill. Nope. Wire cutters. I can't decide where I want to put this. I guess I could go here. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. That's not the water outlet. That explain a lot. Because I think if I have it here, I can then get the nitrogen out of it as well. Jetpack on. Oh. <laughs> I'm two pipes short. Just two. What colour shall that one be painted? I guess I can go white. Don't really have a pale blue. Um, I needed more steel to get more of that, so let's just steal one of these. Take that. Get, get those last two pipes. Then I can also make some more of the gas insulated pipes too. Nope. Liquid. Hey, <laughs> I'm telling you, the boys two boys, two pipes short of a conveyor line. Mm. Yep, that is not what I wanted. Uh. 
could be I'm cleared out. Although it does say nil even when there's a tiny bit. Yeah. Still at point two. And it does get rid of that last pit because up here we're at point oh two, point oh one. Oh, there was a bit of a nothing there. Well, oh no, that's the pipe. Pipe network is the nothing. Yeah, we're close. We're getting real close. Oh, I know it goes to center, Pascals. I know. But it is, it's still getting close. Like, even, even given that, it is still nearing the point of vacuum. Two pipes for that, and then I will... Oh, actually, I probably want a third pipe, just so I can connect the water up to it and then remove them. Okay. Jetpack on. And wrench. All right, that's all I need for that. Then this becomes me just doing things in a slightly tricky fashion. Ooh. I don't really need this anymore, do I? This needs to go inside, though. Uh, Dragnet, I'll be honest, I haven't done much with the ukulele in a while. Like so many of those things, it's, it's one of those things that keeps falling to the wayside as other priorities get in the way. I haven't felt like I've been on top of stuff for some time now. The... First, like, in between moving and everything else. I've, I felt like my, all that sort of stuff is just in flux constantly. But I feel like that's kind of just life. That's how it is. You just gotta make time for things if you want them to... If you want to do things. Figured this was my most effective way to move water around. in there. Now, what I want to try and figure out is how I can get my nitrogen out of the water, because when you crush the water ice, you do get some nitrogen as well. Uh, 
And I'm trying to figure out how I can pipe it across the cable networks that I've laid here. I think I may need to make this wire go off to the side. Unless this is allowed, but I don't think it's going to be. No. Oh, hang on. Could move the wire. Or... We do this. Can anyone... Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go mine some ice. Because I want to check... Whether ice stuffed up something, or whether water ice doesn't give pure gas. Because if we have a look at this, I've got a mix of stuff from my water. That was off my water, but I also did use this as refilling my... Like, I used some of this pipe for refilling my welder at one stage, so I don't know whether I stuffed up something. No. Where's some water? Everyone's saying it gives pure, but might as well grab some more water while I'm out. Anyway, oh, there we go. There's a big spot, big deposit of water ice. No great harm in me getting some more anyway. I could probably quickly grab some oxide as well. Uh, just dump that in the space once I put the CO2 in there. In my pressurized space. See if I can get my helmet off by the end of this stream. Yeah, I was pretty sure the water ice has just nitrogen in it. I think I just stuffed up my setup or my dismantling of my uh, welder refill. Jetpack that I'd on. set up using the same ice crusher for no good reason. I think because I thought I could, and apparently I was slightly wrong. So the boxes of stuff that you're seeing are my ore finding goggles. That make mining for a specific thing a lot simpler. Let's turn off my sensor lenses. There we go. However, they're bugged. They're meant to remove the block once you mine it, but they're not doing that at the moment. Ice crusher on. In goes the ice. Yeah, I'm still on the experimental Dimwex. Yep, pure nitrogen. So I can pipe that into my nitrogen supply. I've got a decent water supply now. How's my power situation going with me leaving all this stuff on? About pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not stressed for power. That is nice. Uh so 
Pendragon, the those icons are meant to be removed when you mine the deposit that it's indicating. So the being see-through isn't required <coughs> when it's working as it's supposed to. Okay. Let's connect that pipe up now. Now I'm safe to do so. It's all connected, so my nitrogen storage should all be combined. 5,000 moles of nitrogen. That's pretty good. I think that'll last me in my jetpack for quite some time. Supposedly there is a more efficient way to make water. Uh, I don't know. This seems pretty efficient. Where are we at? Oh, 0 0.01. 0 0.03. Come on. I'm almost tempted just to leave this and have a filter. <coughs> In fact, that might be smart. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you, you can. There is the electrolyzer for breaking down water to hydrogen and oxygen. I can't remember whether there was a way to combine it back. Point oh one millipascals. Like, there's not enough pollutant in here to... Oh man, what's wrong with my throat? One sec. That's better. Now I can talk normally. Yeah, I think I'm at the point where filtering is required because I don't think I'm going to get this large a volume down to vacuum in any reasonable time frame. Oh, hydrogen combustor. Oh, okay. Uh, all my vents are controlled out... Well, the two top ones aren't. Alright, we'll leave this just while I get the CO2 piping set up. So what I want... I think is going to be, I think I want to use a volume pump rather than a valve. Do I want a turbo pump? What does a turbo pump cost to make? Electrum. 
Why not? Looks fancy. Let's take the capac approach to it. Why not? I can do it, so why not do it? Uh, let's make a few more insulated pipe because I think we're going to need more. Water bottle filler should probably get connected. Uh, I might connect it in a silly place for now. Just because it'll make more sense to put it in the kitchen when I'm done. But I just need to have it connected for now so that I don't run out of accessible water. Dang it, it's too cold. <sighs> Alright, I do need to pressurize this space now. Because if I don't, I'm not going to have any water unless I put a heater on it. Put a heater on it. Which I said, then read chat, and chat's suggesting the same thing. Uh, heater. Probably not a bad idea to have a heater on there just in case, anyway. I'm going to move this pipe heater, it's temporary. I've realized I made a mistake with how I've approached um, making this space airtight. Because I can't rip these the cladding off this wall so that I can build stuff on it. I'm going to need to press, create some airtight space behind it. I wonder how slow this is. It's going to be pretty slow. <laughs> okay, so we're negative 2.2. How long is it going to take? Long, 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 long time. Uh, CO2 is colored what in my system? Gray. Uh, 
All right, how to approach getting the gas in? Kind of haven't built the part that I would run the gas into this section of the build yet, which is annoying. Um. I suppose I could put a passive vent on the inside wall there. I kind of want... Oh yeah, because i got the volume pump. Oh yeah, and if the pump's accessible from in here... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Jetpack on. Do I have any passive vents, or did I use them all? I think I might have used them all. That's really annoying. Forgot to come out with a vent. Right. Jetpack on. I can run everything except for that. That's fine. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Putting this on the wall here. Just making sure it's actually going to sit on the wall. That goes on the wall there. Oh, that's up direction control, that's cool. Uh, if that's the case, what I might do is put it the other way around. Oh, I went too far. Then, oh yeah, I can pick, yeah, 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 there's a vent down there. I can grab, yep, 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 yep. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong color. What am I doing? Yeah, the, there's there's some mixed uh, behavior with what can be placed floating in midair and what can be play what has to be placed against objects. Uh, walls, I should say. Oh, and yeah, the turbo pump is very much just because I can, not because I think it's actually going to speed things up. <laughs> just to have some fun with it. Because I've never used one before. Uh, I know I'm going to be very much limited, limited by uh, the fact that I'm only going to use a single passive vent. Okay, uh, let's Jetpack get power on. to this pump. Which I'm not sure how I want to do, actually. 
Do I want to run a new cable up? <coughs> uh, I'm going to have to think about this cabling later. I'm going to have to redo it. I can't can't think about oh, Jetpack on. can't think about how all of this is going to be arranged in yet because I just don't know. So I'm having to build temporary cabling and I really didn't want to. But I think we just have to for now. Turn off this vent. Close the door. Empty this out. Oh, did I hit vacuum? I hit vacuum anyway. Sweet. Temporary means until it gets in the way. Yeah, pretty much. Look at that. Perfect vacuum. Yeah. Now I just gotta not screw it up. And you off. How are we going for the temperature in the pipe? We've gotten up almost a whole degree in the time I was out doing the piping. I'm actually okay with how slow that is because when I've used the um, flares as ways to get temperature up in a space, sometimes it ends up happening, happening quickly enough and then you lose control and it all gets a bit crazy. Yeah, I think I've got a fair bit of water in this pipe. Like... 13,000 moles of water is a lot in this game. Uh, right. So we're good. we got power. I can now go outside and turn on the turbo pump. And then we can set up this airlock to work properly. Jetpack on. No, 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 I can use my jetpack because my jetpack is pure nitrogen. We have a look. Jetpack critical. I just have pure nitrogen in it, so I can use the jetpack wherever I like. It won't ignite things or anything like that. Uh, what? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was reading one megapascal. Is that... Oh, yeah, Marathi. That's why I hadn't been using my jetpack, because I didn't want to mess with the vacuum in there. But now that I'm pressurizing it, I can again. 10 kilopascals... Ambient temperature in there is pretty high. Might, I might need to use the fact that the water is cold to bring the temperature down.
Uh, how long do I think that temperature is going to take to drop? I could put a radiator just on this section of pipe here and that'll help a bit. I think this might take a while. No, I haven't emptied my tank yet. I've still got 9,000 moles of gas. We're up to 50 kilopascals in there, 47, 46. But the temperature is so high, I think I need to get to the higher end of the pressure, the normal pressure range for this to be acceptable. Oh, I can off-gas my ice to bring the temperature down. It'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. The oxides that I mined. That'll be a quick way to bring the temperature in, in line. Now let's do it again. Put some more in. How much are we down to? I probably want to put a radiator on my CO2 supply, I think. Get it down closer to ambient. I do have a radiator lying around. I do have all those radiators lying around. Uh, where did I put them? That's where I had them. There. Jetpack on. That should start cooling the stuff that I'm putting in, at least. Oh, it is still hotter. <laughs> the stuff in here. 53, that's still not enough. far are we down to? 3,000. Right, let's see where this is settling at. Okay, that's probably all right. Let's go inside and let loose some of my oxide. And then set up this airlock. Oh, it's the pressure is still very much equalizing. We're at 84 here. Going all the way down to a lowly 13 down this end. What's the temper in the pipe now? 1.1. 1 .1. All right, let's turn that off. Now the water is liquid. Alright, 
I'm going to do this. Here we go. Goodbye, Oxite. Well, that was less spectacular than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to, like, dance around like they often do. That's melting much more slowly than I expected. <laughs> Here we go. With all of them chucked out. Yeah, there we are. Dancing. Dancing in the breeze. What I wanted. <laughs> That's really cool, the way they're kind of... Bouncing off the end and then flying away. Still at 104 degrees in here, though. This might be a problem. I might actually have to set up a coolant system to bring this temperature down. Um, I was hoping that the water might do enough to bring it down. Got a radiator for the water kit, uh, water pipe. Another one, so, uh, another few actually. So I was gonna put them all underneath the thing. So my valve is switched off, isn't it? Yeah, my valve is switched off. That's fine. And I know these don't do anything, but I'm doing it anyway. Yes, the total volume of my living space is kind of huge. And this tube acts as quite the way to slow down propagation of the atmosphere throughout the space. Well, someone was saying that... Uh, only one radiator per cube space actually works. Having multiple didn't make a difference. I don't know if it's true or not. I guess it depends on the temperature difference and as to whether the radiator can do all of the stuff between it. Yeah, I have a big enough differential it might do more. Oh, speaking of big enough differentials. Use my cold outside water. Mix it again. Nuts. I was really hoping, hoping to be able to open my helmet at this point. <laughs> uh, I could go get more oxide, actually. Let's do that. Uh, oh, now that I've got pressure I want in here, I need to evacuate it. I need to set up the airlock properly. Oh wait. Uh, external door, internal door. Uh, 
Okay, external pressure zero, internal pressure. Let's go 40. Okay. The airlock is now using being used. Uh, yes, the entire place is full of CO two and oxygen because I mined the o I've released the oxide. Um, and station ears doesn't model requiring low uh, CO two and uh, low enough CO two to be survivable. Because very high CO2 would cause you to have horrendous acid base balances and probably fairly rapidly loss of consciousness. Because you'd be trying to breathe off the CO2, which would make you breathe faster, which would probably bring more CO2 in. And you would then, yeah, it would go badly for you. Let's get more dancing rocks. And silicon, apparently. And a little bit of copper. Or at least, as far as I'm aware, Station Ears doesn't model the um, CO2 being a problem side of things. Jetpack on. No, CO2 doesn't do any damage to your lungs at all. Um, so, or uh, unless you get, unless you're talking about in-game damage to your lungs. Yeah. Jetpack on. Yeah, I wasn't aware of it doing that, but I mean, we'll find out when I test this. Once I've got it cool enough that I know I'm not going to burn myself. At least we're down below boiling point. What is boiling point? Alright, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! <laughs> I do enjoy this. Aren't you glad ice doesn't break glass? Yes. Uh, yeah, probably am. Down at 82 degrees. Still over 100 degrees down here. The dance of the ice fairies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's our water temperature at now? Eight. Ooh. Okay. I think I need more water as well. Just. I guess I hadn't quite appreciated just how much gas there would be in this space compared to what I normally build in terms of pressurized volumes. Or what I've previously built, I shouldn't say normally. Oh, a few of them chasing down the stairs. <laughs> it's quite fun. Well, that's all of that in now, and we are down to 73 degrees. <laughs> Hang on. Why is... Oh, hang on. What, so when, I, when I'm looking at this, I'm not seeing how much stuff there is in the entire volume. I'm seeing what's in the specific volume I'm standing in. Which is why there's probably several thousand moles of CO2 here. I just can't see them. 
Yeah, 73C is still too hot. Everything is. Uh, the good news is, though, despite me throwing all this oxide around, I'm still not getting above safe pressures. Like, we're still fine on that front. Look at all that gas moving. It's quite cool. Uh, so let's open this up again. So what we're at, we're at 11.7 degrees in the water pipe before I open the valve. And after I do, down to eight. I'm going to need more oxide, aren't I? Well, I'm up to 42% oxygen up here. I'm going to need to set up a radiator system to equalize pressure within here and cool through outside. I could probably use these things, these ones here. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, I've got a perfect passive setup. I have an idea. I have two pipe ends here that are equalized to pressure of outside. If I put some radiators on them, it'll bleed off some of the heat. Won't be as effective as it could be if I was using a high pressure system, but it'll still do something. I don't think any of my gases are cold. I think they're all hot. Because they're all furnace gases. Ah, uh, the nitrogen should be cooler because some of it's come from the water ice, but it's still hot because a lot of us a lot of it comes from the furnace or some of it actually maybe it doesn't i don't know i don't know i'm gonna do things this way for a second though uh radiator Because I need something to gradually bring the temperature down in here. Uh, we've got... Yep, that should be enough pipe. And that, in theory, should be helping. A bit. It's minus 66 degrees in the pipe. And the pipe is, uh, has two passive vents that go outside. What else can I do? Ideally, I would have done this, like this pipe network, the other way around, and had it passive, the passive vents inside and the radiators outside. Slap on a wall cooler. Yeah, I guess I could go get my portable AC and use it up. Yeah, what I'm doing will take time to work. 
but it will eventually work. <laughs> Just how uh, how hungry am I getting, and how much time am I willing to wait until it works? I know the portable's not going to dent it, but it'll do something and I've got one. Uh, do I have batteries in here? I have a small battery. Where the... Always walk backwards through doors with things like this. Oh, am I even going to be able, be able to get it out? Sort of. Alright. Oh wait, am I even going to be able to get this in? Because I've got the... I don't have the glass doors of the other one. Am I going to be able to fit it through the door? Is there a way to... Return this to being the kit after you've built it. Hand drill will break it down to kit. Ah, oh, good. That's better. some batteries the other way was funnier it's true and possibly more fun as well but I didn't think I was going to be able to even get it through the other doors currently flashing an arrow so how how high pressure can you get these things High enough that they become fantastically dangerous. Alright, well, I feel like uh, we might have enough battery power to see how this goes. I'm going to possibly save the game before it gets... When it, when it reaches yellow, I'll save the game. And then we'll just keep going until it goes. Raging Dragon, that sounds like a Capac kind of question. Can you eat tape? No, you can't eat the tape. Yeah, you can connect the portable air conditioner to a tank connector to discharge it. Sixty-six point two degrees. Sixty-six. We're going down. Water temps getting warm. <laughs> so there's there's our portable air conditioner.
slightly spicy. Yeah, it really doesn't hold a lot of gas at that temperature. Yeah, the, the aircon, the portable aircon does store absurd amounts of heat. down to yellow on that battery. That's all right. We've got we got plenty of batteries. I'll be fine keeping this thing running. So yeah, as I said, I'll save when I get into the yellow zone. What the heck was that? It's weird. Oh. I was getting the weirdness from the the grates and the sunlight through it. Hundred and forty seven thousand degrees. I mean, the temperature's slowly going down. Obviously, less effective during the daytime. I think that is hotter than the sun, isn't it? Yeah, so the temp the surface temperature of the sun is 5,778 Kelvin. This is a lot hotter than that. Uh, a white dwarf is said to be about 100,000 degrees Celsius. So this is hotter than a white dwarf. Can you guys hear that tapping? Uh. Happy dreams, happy dreams. Yeah, 15 million degrees is the core of the sun. So we're not quite at um, solar fusion temperatures yet. So, like, is this thing going to explode if I keep working it? Or does it just stop? If it doesn't explode, I'll get a tank connector and I'll put a passive vent on it. Oh yeah, I'm going to get I'm going to keep going until it either stops or explodes in my face. That's the plan. Because why not? Oof, we're already at 17 degrees in the pipes.
Yeah, Demon Works, that's what I'm thinking. If I release the super dense, well, the slightly dense plasma that's in it, um, it all in one go, then it might uh, do a cool boom and wipe out a good chunk of my base. I haven't saved yet, but it is middle of the yellow, so I shall. Oh yeah, we could just flip it to warm mode, potentially. That lets it out pretty quickly too. Jeez. I really should have let that gas cool before I threw it in here. That was really daft. It was not one of my smarter choices to... Push it all in here really hot. I thought it was going to cool down more in the, like, thermal ex uh, the, yeah, in the expansion phase. I thought it was going to cool more than it actually did. Yeah, Takari, the volume in here is lower pressure than the pipe, therefore cooler. So that's why I thought that would work that way. But it didn't seem to make as big a difference as I thought it would. <coughs> do, 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 do. It's almost in the red. I mean the orange. It has now reached officially capac levels of temperature. Does that make it a capacstrophe? Possibly. My stuff's fine. I can turn off the HUD. Oh, that's something I want to do. Eh. That's got to be a thumbnail at some point. For some reason my Steam screenshot thing doesn't work reliably in Station S. Got plenty of power in the battery. I don't want to screen capture it when it goes fully bad because it might pause, like, because then we might miss it. So I'll just quickly grab that. And then we see. Oh! It, st uh, it stopped itself. It's flashing an error. So that's... Okay, it's turned itself off. That means... We save. Yep, we can overwrite because it's safe. Okay. 
the thing I think will not do anything bad, I'm going to do first. And then I'm going to reload. So if I deconstruct it, does the gas get deleted? Or does the gas get released? Assuming it gets deleted. Yep, deleted. Alright, we need a... Um... All right, next next one is release is turn it to warming. So let's turn it off. Set to hot. Three, two, one. Click. Flashing an error. What? Oh. Well, okay, uh, we need a tank stand thing. Yeah, I know, right? The thing's just, ugh, connector. It's just being thoroughly disappointing. Uh, we need a few bits of pipe and a passive vent. Yeah, just in time, Mason, to see disaster. Oh, I need a floor. Curse you! Alright. Three, two, one. What? What? Seriously? Seriously? You're thoroughly disappointing me, air conditioner. Alright, I'm gonna... Do you reckon there was enough gust there that would have thrown me up in the air? It didn't seem it. Ugh. So disappointing. Um, I have, I have one last... I have another stupid thing to do, though. Don't worry, we're not done with the stupid just yet. Uh, since we've saved, let's connect the CO2 line that connects to our base. 
directly to the furnace off gas. Jetpack on. How high does this go? Thousand liters. On. Mixer on. Furnace on. Output fifty liters. Uh, actually. Go inside. <laughs> Let's see if I've got enough stuff for things to explode. Oh, it's getting toasty in here. Oh, my battery's dead on this. Whoa. Oh, I blew out! I blew out! <laughs> it's still super toasty here, and I'm not doing those movements. I'm getting pushed around. Let's turn my jet back on. Jetpack on. Whee! <laughs> jetpack on. No, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. No! no. Jetpack off. Jetpack on. Oh, no. That didn't work. What else can I do with this? I suppose I can throw stuff at it. Whee! That was less less exciting than I was hoping. After it threw me out the door so effectively. There is still so much gas coming out of that. Oh yeah, I could be put my thrust up to get through the door. The gap. Oh. Oh, I, I'm... That's not winning. Okay, I'm at max thrust now. Uh. Oh, yep. I can walk through. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Jetpack on. No. Jetpack on. Oh. No. But how hard that was to push in. It didn't do much when I tried to get when I was trying to get pushed out. Waste tank caution. <laughs> you build a jet engine, it's just the size of a building. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Uh, well, uh, that was slightly... This was very disappointing. You dis you disappoint me, air conditioner. You disappoint me. But, at least we did get me flung out a window, so there's that. I will be back over on the Flipsy channel tomorrow evening for some more Icarus with Pav and Kapak. And we'll be back with some more Scavenger Hunt on Saturday. So there's all that and plenty more to come and I'll see you then. 
Hope everyone has a great day. Bye.